learners, welcome to our online course. It's our pleasure to invite you to get to know the culture and way of thinking of the Korean people through the studying of the Korean language. Recently, people from all over the world has been increasingly interested in Korea due to a phenomenon known as the Korean wave. More and more young people are enjoying TV dramas, K-pop music and movies, and learning about the modern life of Koreans as well as their traditions. Once you have mastered this basic Korean language course, you will be able to communicate directly with your Korean peers, better understand the mentality of Koreans and make lots of new friends in Korea. With some patience and diligence, I know you can really benefit from this course and enjoy yourself too. Our goal as the office of this course is to put you on the right path so that in the future you will be able to better understand the Korean language and be able to continue your studies, whether on your own or with others. Dear learners, I'm glad to welcome you to our course. Modern South Korea is a country where you can explore how the distinct culture and highly developed technologies, traditional and modern architecture, old traditions and elements of globalization are intertwined in an amazing way. The rich history and developed economy of Korea draw attention of a million tourists all over the world each year to visit Korea, where they can enjoy ancient historical sites, unique natural landscapes, sandy beaches, taste unique Korean cuisine, which is rich in taste and flavor, as well as receive quality medical treatment, highly recognized by the international medical community. But if you want to be more than just an ordinary tourist and learn more about the history and culture of this country, you better start acquiring Korean language, which will help you to communicate with Koreans. But what is more important, understand their mindset and their lifestyle. In our course, you will be able not to only master Korean on an elementary level, but also gain the necessary knowledge about the Korean culture and traditions, which is crucial in learning the language. We will help you to understand the intricacies of Korean culture, tell you what Korean etiquette is and why Koreans are a very polite nation. I wish you luck on this difficult but exciting journey. Dear learners of the online course, it is my pleasure to invite you to experience the culture of Korea and get to know the way of thinking of the Korean people through the studying of the Korean language. My name is Ina Tsui and I am an associate professor of the Department of Korean Studies at St. Petersburg State University. Before you start learning the Korean language, I will give you a brief history of the origins of the Korean language and introduce you to its main features. The Korean writing system is called Hangul. In 1997, UNESCO registered the original Hangul as the memory of the world and established the UNESCO King Sejong Literacy Prize, an annual award given to those fighting illiteracy. Hangul is unique in that, out of 100 alphabets known in the world, it is the only written language where we know for certain by whom it was created, when it was created, and for what purpose it was created. In 1443, during the reign of King Sejong, Hangul was invented so that common people could easily learn how to read and write. Until the Choson dynasty, Koreans had no writing system of their own and had to use Chinese characters, which were extremely complex and difficult to learn. Koreans had their own spoken language, but they had to borrow complex Chinese characters to express their spoken language, 
only nobles were able to learn and acquire this knowledge at that time, and for commoners it was very difficult to become literate. When Kim Sejong invented Hangul, he faced strong opposition from the nobles and officials because they felt they might lose their power if commoners would be able to read and share written information. However, Kim Sejong overcame this opposition and, together with a group of scholars, pushed forward with the development of Hangul. In all of human history, no other king of a nation or any individual has invented a written language for his people. When Hangul was created, it was called Hunmin Jong Um, which means the correct sound to teach the people. Unlike hieroglyphic letter writing, which still continued to play a little role, it was a language for ordinary people and anyone could easily learn it due to the simplicity of its letters. In the slide, you can see the reprinted edition of Kim Sejong's edict. Nowadays, a variety of Korean language textbooks are produced in Korea for children of all ages. In the slide, you can see one of these manuals for preschool children. Hangul was created scientifically, which made it very easy to learn. Some scholars view Hangul as one of the most advanced alphabets. The basic design principle behind Hangul is very simple. The Korean alphabet can be written using only the basic outline of a triangle, a circle, a square, a dot, and a straight line. The basic consonants, shapes, were modeled after the speech organ. The shapes of the vowels were me meant to represent sky, earth, and humans. This scientific aspect of Hangul is highlighted through the fact that it is closely connected with the natural philosophy, particularly for vowels. They embody the idea of free harmonies, which emphasizes the balance between sky, earth, and human. This idea represents the cosmology and linguistic philosophy behind the creation of Hangul. Hangul is made of 14 basic consonants and 10 basic vowels. When certain lines are added, the number of consonants and vowels increases. But we will only talk about the basic letters in this presentation. Each consonant and each vowel has their own unique sound characteristic. For example, the word Korea in English is written as Hanguk in Hangul. The consonant H is written with the vowel A and with the consonant N to form Han, and the consonant G is written with the vowel U and with the consonant K to form Guk. Korean syllables and whole words are similar to certain images. In other words, from an aesthetic point of view, you can choose pictures for Korean words, for example, like in this slide. Koreans have long been famous for their calligraphy skills and continue to organize calligraphy contests in the present day. For example, in this slide you can see samples of the calligraphic lettering. There is a whole industry in Korea that uses Hangul as a fashion brand. The Korean Alphabet Day, known as Hangul Day, is a national Korean commemorative day, which marks the invention and the proclamation of Hangul. It is observed on October 9 in South Korea and on January 15 in North Korea. Hangul Day has been a national holiday in South Korea since 1970. Although Hangul was created more than 570 years ago. The practical advancement of the system has taken place over the, the last 100 years. Despite its short history, Hangul now proudly takes its place among the world's most well-known languages. 
Hangul contributed greatly to Korea's ranking at the second place in the ICT Development Index in 2017. It also helped Korea to secure its place as a leader in the global IT industry. The systematic form of a Hangul enables to work efficiently with the keys on a smartphone or the keys on a computer keyboard. Moreover, typing in Hangul on a smartphone was found to be 45% faster than English. Koreans are jokingly called the thumb trap, as Hangul all allows Koreans to type long messages on their smartphones at a very high speed. Because of its beauty, Hangul has recently become popular in areas of arts and culture. For example, Hangul elements are used as fashion prints on clothes or as decorations for accessories and souvenirs. As an element of decor, Hangul is actively used in urban development. The organization of the National Hangul Museum was established in 2014. As mentioned above, the shapes of the three primary vowels of Hangul are meant to represent sky, earth, and human. It is interesting that the architecture of the museum, the place where the sky, land, and people meet, follows and captures the same concepts and beauty of traditional Korean eaves. This museum represents the history of the creation of Korean writing, and there are both permanent and special exhibitions as well as a children's area. Korean is the official language of South and North Korea. Currently, the Korean language is spoken by about 78 million people. Russian researchers classify the Korean language as an Altai language. General linguists consider Korean to be an isolated language. Towards the end of the 19th century, the system of mixed hieroglyphic letter writing began to be used and is still in the use in South Korea today. In the DPRK, only the national alphabet is currently used. The phonetic structure of the Korean language is characterized by vowel harmony, assimilation, and consonant interchange. According to its morphological structure, the Korean language belongs to agglutinative languages. This means that word formation and inflection occur through agglutination, i.e. affixation, suffixes and prefixes, or endings, while the root of the word generally remains unchanged. The syntactic structure of the Korean language is characterized by a fixed word order in a sentence, namely, the predicate always stands at the end of the sentence. The subordinate part of the sentence always precedes the one it depends on. The subject always comes before the predicate. The object always comes before the predicate. A complement before the word it modifies. Modern Korean vocabulary has three lexical layers. Native Korean vocabulary, Chinese lexical layer, over 70 percent, borrowings from different languages, English and Japanese. And Konglish is a separate linguistic phenomenon. Konglish has English loanwords that have been appropriated into Korean and are used in ways that are not readily understandable to native English speakers. The use of Konglish is widespread in South Korea as a result of U.S. cultural influence but it, it is not familiar to North Koreans. There is significant difference in speaking and writing. You can master the Korean language if you at the same time study the culture and history of Korea, so-called background knowledge. There are also levels of social orientation. For example, when talking, it is important to know who your interlocutor is his gender, age, and status, free polite you and free familiar you. It is important to take into consideration not only the context,
but also the subtext. The role of the written word in Korean culture is very significant. The text has a sacred meaning. Also, we should remember the influence of Confucianism, Buddhism and Taoism. There are some required conditions for learning Korean. They are a systematic approach, a set of rules and exceptions, studying cultural characteristics, all in a complex, knowledge of the social hierarchy and figurative, not linear, thinking. However, do not be afraid to make mistakes. It's how we learn. I wish you the best of luck as you begin this course. We will start to learn the Korean alphabet, which is known as Hangul, by covering eight simple vowels. As with any other language, Korean words consist of syllables. Unlike Western languages, Korean syllables are not written linearly, but grouped in syllabic blocks. In theory, every block needs at least one consonant and one vowel, and each syllable must begin with a consonant. Syllables that begin with a vowel phonetically are written with a symbol that looks like a circle. This symbol has no sound at the beginning of the syllable. The position of the zero symbol or any other consonant in the syllable is determined by the shape of a vowel, a vertical or horizontal. The first vowel is A. Pay attention to the stroke order of each letter. They are written from left to right and top to bottom. A sounds like A in father. O. It is pronounced as unrounded English O as O in often. O. U. It is a rounded sound, so you need to round your lips to pronounce it. It is similar to O in core. O. O. O sounds like English O in cool. O. But try not to round your lips. O. O. To produce this sound, you need to open your mouth and bring your upper and lower teeth closer, but don't touch them. Don't round your lips or push them out. And try to pronounce O in this position. U. E. E sounds as E in pitch. E. E. This vowel is pronounced with a wide open mouth since it is an open sound. It is similar to E in sad. E. E. Unlike the previous sound, this is a closed vowel. It sounds as E in pet. E. Listen and repeat. E. A e. A u. U e. U a. E e. E. A e. A u. O e. U a. A. In Korean, there are 10 basic consonants. They are usually written in the order which is given in the name of the video. However, we put them in a different order, so the pronunciation rules we are giving in this video are placed logically. First, let's refresh our knowledge about speech sounds. Vowels are speech sounds produced with a constriction of the air flowing out through the mouth. Consonants are speech sounds produced with some constriction or impedance of the air stream. Consonants are divided into four groups according to the manner of articulation. These are stop, 
fricative, affricate, and nasal sounds. Stops are articulated by blocking the air flow in the vocal tract and then releasing it. Stops in English are b, t, k. Fricatives are articulated by bringing the mouth into position to block the passage of the airstream, but not making complete closure so the airstream is partially obstructed and turbulent airflow is produced. Fricatives in English are f, s, th. Affricates are sounds which have both stop and fricative traits, for example, English ch. Nasal sounds are articulated when the air is stopped in the oral tract, but the velum is lowered so that the air flow can go freely through the nose. Nasals in English are ng, m, n. Also, the word that you need to know for understanding our further explanations is batchim or batchim. It's a consonant placed at the final position of the syllable. Each consonant has its own name, which is given below. We will start from nasal sounds. Nyun. It sounds like the sound n in English. For example, as n in no. Na, nu, nun, nan. Mium. Mium sounds as m in mother. Mi. Mu, man, mun. Iun. We have already learned that iun is a zero sound when it is in the syllable initial position. However, iun has its own sound when it follows a vowel. It sounds like ng as in song. Mong, nung. Riur. There are two ways to pronounce riur. When real is in the initial position of the word, it is pronounced similar as l in English, but the tip of the tongue touches a little further back on the roof of the mouth. However, it can also be pronounced as r. For example, longing, longing. When riul is the final consonant at the end of the syllable, it's also called bachim, riul is pronounced as soft l. Mal, Nil. When riul occurs between two vowels, it is pronounced by tapping the tip of the tongue against the bone ridge behind the teeth. The position of the mouth is somewhat similar to the position when we pronounce t or d. For example, body, duri. The next group consists of three stops and one affricate consonants. They all can be voiced and voiceless depending on their position in the word. We will give the primary pronunciation first. Kyok. The unvoiced pronunciation is like K as in kill. However, unlike English, the Korean sound K is not aspirated. So try not to release air or release it as less as possible while pronouncing it. The unvoiced K is pronounced when it is the initial position of the syllable. Ka, k, kom, kung. Kyok becomes voiced when it occurs between vowels or after nasal sounds. It sounds like g as in gap. Kogi, kamgi. Tigut. The unvoiced sound when tigut is in the initial position of the syllable is pronounced as English T in tall, but less aspirated. Ta, to, tal, tul. Tigit is pronounced as English T in study, when it occurs between two vowels or after nasal sounds. U dong, dong dam. Piup. The unvoiced piup in the initial position of the syllable Sounds like P in park, but without the puff of the air. P, Po, Bang, Bom. When PIP is between vowels or after NIUN, MIUN, YUN, and RIUL, it becomes voiced as English B in baby. PABO, K, 
kalbi. Tüt. The primary pronunciation of tüt is t as English t in child. Cho, chu, tal, chul. When tüt is between vowels or after nasal sounds, it is pronounced as j like English j in jil. Chaju, alji. The last group of consonants are fricative sounds. Siot. This sound is similar to English S in sky, but much weaker. Sa, so, song, sul. When siot is written with E or I vowels, which we will cover a bit later, it is pronounced as English sh, but softer. Shida. Hyot. It is pronounced as English H in hat. Ha, hu, har, hung. Note that Korean doesn't have the English type stress, so you don't need to stress any syllable in Korean. Listen and repeat. Aju, kagu, pada, moja. Dubu, Paji, Nobu, Udi, Agi, Sada, Gudu, Aboji, Omoni, Tejudo, Aigu, Dosia, Drama, Chumoni, Aju. Kagu Pada Moja Dubu Paji Nomu Uri Agi Sada Kudu Aboji Omoni Jejudo Aigu Russia Drama, Chumoni, Keguri, Dadiu, Tsiuge, Koguma, Wujige, San, Kang, Pom, Chal, Son, Nun, Pang, Nolda, Maum, Sangja, Busan, Maul, Uyneng, Keguri, Radio, Jiuge, Koguma, Mujige, San, Kang, Pom, Chal, Son, Dun, Pang, Dolda, Maum, Sangja, Busan, Maul, Unheng, Ilbun, Chongmal, Adur, Undong, Nongu, Kaul, Param, Harmony, Damdemun, Haraboji, Sonsengnim, Pomnabul, Tajongo, Kangaji, Hidarida, Ilbon, Chongmal, Adel, Undong, Dongu, Kaul, Param, Harmony, Namdemun, Haraboji, Sonsengnim, Pomnamul, Chajongo, Kangaji, Kidarida. In this video, we will cover Y valves and the compound vowel Ui. Y vowels are basic vowels but with Y added to the beginning. 
They are written with the additional short stroke. Ya, ya, yo, yu, ye, ye. The compound vowel u is a complex vowel which is pronounced as a glide from u to e. Ui. It is pronounced distinctly only when it is at the beginning of the word. For example, uiha, uita, uigan, uimi. In case when ui is not in a word initial position or is after a consonant, it is pronounced as e. For example, himang, ko i. Uni, gui. Listen and repeat. Yo, you. A, ye. U, you. Yo, ja. Yo, ga. Ye, gi. Ya, gu. U, sa. Yang, su. So, do. Sige, uigan, kyosir, koyangi. Yo yu, aye, uyu, yoja, yoga, yegi, yagu, uisa, hyangsu, soryu. 시계, 의견, 교실, 고양이. Let's start this video with some words and phrases. 저. 저 I Used when speaking to a stranger, to someone who is older or of higher social rank. 형 형. Elder brother Used only by a male to address or talk about his elder brother or cousin, his intimate elder male friend. With non-intimate elder male friends, 형님 is used. 누나 누나 Elder sister Used only by a male to address or talk about his elder sister or cousin, his intimate elder female friend. With non-intimate elder female friends, 누님 is used. 어머니 어머니 Mother 어머니 is the formal form to call or refer to your mother. The informal is 엄마. When addressing or talking about someone else's mother, homonym is used. 아버지 아버지 Father 아버지 is the formal form to call or refer to your father. The informal is 아빠. When addressing or talking about someone else's father, 아버님 is used. 학생 학생 Student at school. 대학생 대학생 student at university also often shortened to 학생 교수 교수 professor 교수님 is a polite form 님 is the honorific particle attached to a title 의사 의사 doctor when addressing a doctor, you should add 선생님 to 의사. 의사 선생님. 군인. 군인. Soldier. 요리사. 요리사. Cook. 배우. 배우. Actor. 가수. 가수. Singer, 음악가, 음악가, musician, 
Uyu. Uyu. Milk. Kabang. Kabang. Back. Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. Hello. Mannaso bangapsunida. Mannaso bangapsunida. Nice to meet you. The copula is a verb like form which is equivalent to the English verb to be. It is attached to a noun. Ida is a dictionary form of the copula which is made by adding ta to the stem of the verb. We cannot use this form to build a sentence since it has served only to list verbs in the dictionary. Therefore, we will use the verb ending which is attached to the stem. In Korean, there are plenty of verb endings about which we will learn later, but now we will use the ending of the formal descriptive sentence type nida. Nida is added to the stem e and becomes imnida. Note that piub is replaced with mium while pronouncing imnida. According to the assimilation rules, we will learn about them in the next module. Uyu imnida. 우유입니다. It is milk. 가방입니다. 가방입니다. It is a bag. Before we proceed, it's important to mention about nouns in the Korean language. There are no articles in Korean. Nouns are not marked with gender. There is the plural particle, about which we will learn in the model number 5, but it can be easily dropped. Ida is frequently used with the topic marker un, nun. It is one particle, but un is used after consonants and nun after vowels. For example, haksing ends in a consonant. Therefore, we add un, haksingun. Uisa ends in a vowel, so we add nun. The function of the topic marker in the sentence is to show that the word to which it is added is the main thing that is already being talked about in the sentence. The topic particle is literally translated as for, speaking of, concerning. It can be attached to the subject, object and time nouns in the sentence. It is generally used in informative noun phrases as following. 저는 학생입니다. 저는 학생입니다. I am a student. 어머니는 선생님입니다. 어머니는 선생님입니다. Mother is a teacher. 아버지는 의사입니다. 아버지는 의사입니다. Father is a doctor. 누나는 음악가입니다. 누나는 음악가입니다. My elder sister is a musician. 형은 군인입니다. 형은 군인입니다. My elder brother is a soldier. Before you start watching your first dialogue in Korean, we will introduce the main characters of the course that will be with you throughout the learning process. Maria is a student from Russia who came to Korea to study at university. In Korea, she meets Jisoo and Jimin, who become her friend. They are all students and Jimin is also an aspiring singer and musician. At the end of each module, we will listen to dialogues between these characters, which will help you to revise the material we have covered. The tiger is a traditional symbol of Korea, so the tiger named Horani will tell you about Korean traditions and some features of the Korean language, which are related to the culture of this country. Good luck! 안녕하세요. 저는 마리아입니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 재민입니다. 
안녕하세요. 저는 지수입니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 호랑이입니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다키다
포도주 아저씨 통나무 데이트 코끼리 크리스마스 There are six vowels in Korean. They are the combination of basic horizontal vowels O, R, U, and vertical A, E, I, O, and E. Even though these vowels are the combination of two sounds, they are pronounced as one. Wa, We, We. We. The w vowel we is hard to find in writing. We and upper we are pronounced almost the same. We. Wo. Listen and repeat. We. Wang. Chui. Kwail. Hui sa. Hui yi. Tui Wain G, 과일, 회사, 회의, 돼지, 웬일, 외투, 봐요, 궤도, 화가, 병원, 인쇄, 쉬다, 사과, 훨씬, 회사원, 추워요. Waiter, 유치원. In Korean, there can only be seven sounds in the syllable final position if the syllable is not followed by a vowel. The sound n. 논문, 본, 손, 신문. The sound m. 밤, 마음, 감자, 곰. The sound n. 가방, 공, 시장, 생일. The sound r. 말, 팔다, 칼, 살다. The sounds k, t, p, unlike their English counterparts, lose much of their sound when pronounced in the syllable final position. It happens because while pronouncing them, you put the mouth into the position for the consonant, tense it up and then relax it without producing any sound and airflow. Compared to English sounds, k, look, chungguk, hack, T. Hot. Ot. Meat. Bit. P. Hip. Ip. Loop. Up. The sound k. Pak. Kok. Migu. Mokta. Puok. Bak, tak, da. The sound kot, tita, pata, kut, pat, mata, ut, bit, nata, ita, wata, kata, nat, ita, chata. 
speed quote the sound p pop took the ip ip soup up if words with k t p sounds in the pachim are followed by syllables starting from a vowel then every sound is pronounced the sound k mokta morgen puok puoke pak pakkeso the sound patta padden good gucci ot osel watta waso nat naje got gotsel the sound p pap pabul sup supeso when heard occurs between vowels and nasal sounds it becomes weaker annyeong haseyo yeongwoni yoheng mianamnida if heard is in the syllable final position and is followed by yeung then heard is not pronounced chon nuwayo noon when heard is in the position next to basic consonants kyok ti good pyeob and chud it merges with them changing consonants into their aspirated equivalents the sound k kukwa palkida kuroke nokko the sound matyeong manta the sound p chopida ipida the sound anchida kurochi consonant clusters is a group of consonants with no vowel between them if there are two consonants at the end of the syllable and they are not followed by a vowel then only one consonant is pronounced there are only 11 cases of consonant clusters in Korean. Nok, but noksi. Ik, but ilgo. An, but anja. An, but ana. Tom, but tolmen. Op, but opso. Nol, but Nolben. The exception is papta. Hal, but halta. Al, but ara. Gul, but gulsi. Ul, but ulpa. In most cases, when syllable final sounds k, t, p are followed by basic consonants, Kyok, Tigut, Pio, Tud, and Siot in the syllable initial position, the later become tensed sounds. Titku, Ipku, Batta, Okta, Kukpap, Hakpi, Kotjang, Kotjip, Apsoda, Kuksu. In this video, we will cover the main rules of assimilation. Assimilation is the process by which a speech sound becomes similar or identical to a neighboring sound. We group the types of assimilation. The nasalization happens when consonants kyok, kyub, sangkyok, tigud, tiud, piub, piub occur between nasal sounds nyun or miyum. They assimilate with nasal sounds and become nasals themselves. Chungnen, Puongman, Tangnen, Ingnen, Nongman, Tinninda, Panman, Pamman, 
Amadang. Omnen. If Ryul and Nyun meet together, Nyun becomes replaced by Ryul sound in most cases. Sollal. Silla. Halinda. If Ryul occurs after Myun and Yun, it becomes Nyun. Chongno. Hamnak. The same rule is applied when the final syllable sound k and p occur between riol. These sounds become assimilated due to the nasal assimilation. Hamnyok, Tongnip. First, let's learn some new words. What? 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 Often shortened to "mo" in everyday speech. Onni. Onni. Elder sister. Used only by a female to address or talk about her elder sister or cousin, her intimate elder female friend. Oppa. Oppa. Elder brother. Used only by a female to address a talk about her elder brother or cousin, her intimate elder male friend. Ajoshi. Ajoshi. Middle aged man, Mr. Uncle. Used when addressing or talking about a middle aged man who is your relative or one who you may address without knowing his social status. It is frequently used to refer to a middle aged man working in the service sector. Ajumoni. Ajumoni. Middle aged woman, madam, aunt. Used when addressing or talking about a middle aged woman who is your relative or one who you may address without knowing her social status. It is frequently used to refer to a middle-aged woman working in the service sector. The informal form of ajumoni is ajumma. Check. Check. Book. Hangugo. Hangugo. Korean language. Sonsengnim. Sonsengnim. Teacher. Instructor. Used to address a teacher or refer to him, her. The informal form of 선생님 is 샘. 운동선수. 운동선수. Athlete. 변호사. 변호사. Lawyer. 운전기사. 운전기사. Driver. When addressing a driver, it's common to say 기사님. 기자. 기자. Journalist. 화가. 화가. Artist. 경찰관. 경찰관. Police officer. 회사원. 회사원. Office worker. 소방관. 소방관. Firefighter. 간호사. 간호사. Nurse. 작가. 작가. Writer. 미용사. 미용사. Hairstylist. 통역사. 통역사. Interpreter.
The formal interrogative form of ida is imnikta. To ask a question, you need to add it to the word stem. Boshimika? What is it? Chegimnida. It's a book. Chiongsunun Kanosa Imnika? Is Chiung a nurse? De Kanosa Imnida. Yes, she is a nurse. In the second sentence above, we added the suffix si next to the name chiyong. This is a honorific suffix used to address someone in a polite way. However, it's not appropriate to address someone who is older than you by calling a person by their name even with the addition of the honorific suffix si. Instead of that, you should use a title. More information about titles in Korean can be found in the long read section. Since there are no proper second person singular pronouns in Korean, calling someone by name or by title followed by the topic particle unnun is considered to be a substitute for a second person pronoun. The more information about personal pronouns you will find in the model number 5. 예진 씨는 화가입니까? Are you an artist, Yejin? 네, 화가입니다. Yes, I am an artist. Korean is a highly contextual language, so therefore context is crucial to understand who is being addressed. First and second person pronouns are frequently omitted, so you don't need to start every sentence with the first person pronoun 저 or calling someone by name with a topic particle to address a person. 기자입니까? Are you a journalist? 네, 기자입니다. Yes, I am a journalist. The negative form of 이다 is 아니다. It is 아닙니다 in the formal polite style. The noun which precedes 아니다 appears with the subject particle 이 after consonants and with 가 after vowels. The subject particle is used to mark the subject of the sentence. It is also used to stress the new information in the sentence while the topic marker 은, 는 expresses the information that is already known by speakers. 지영 씨는 회사원입니까? Are you an office worker, 지영? 아니요, 저는 회사원이 아닙니다. No, I'm not an office worker. Michael 씨는 소방관입니까? Are you a firefighter, Michael? 아니요, 저는 소방관이 아닙니다. 경찰관입니다. No, I'm not a firefighter. I'm a police officer. 민석 씨가 통역사입니까? Is Minsok an interpreter? 아니요, 민석 씨는 한국어 선생님입니다. No, Minsok is a Korean teacher. Maria 씨는 대학생입니까? 네, 대학생입니다. 재민 씨는 배우입니까? 아니요, 배우가 아닙니다. 저는 가수입니다. Dugu Who Note that Dugu with the subject particle ka is Duga Busun Busun What kind of Onu Onu Which Uri Uri we, our. Yoja. Yoja. Woman, female. Namja. Namja. Man, male.
사람 사람 person 친구 친구 friend 반 친구 반 친구 classmate groupmate 연예인 연예인 celebrity 나라 나라 country 한국 한국 South Korea 중국 중국 China 일본 일본 Japan 태국 태국 Thailand 호주 호주 Australia 인도 인도 India Russia 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 프랑스 프랑스 France 독일 독일 Germany 영국 영국 UK 미국 미국 US in in means person 한국 사람 한국인 한국인 Korean 미국 사람 미국인 미국인 American 독일 사람 독일인 독일인 German 어느 나라 사람입니까? Where are you from? Literally, are you a person of which country? 저는 일본 사람입니다. I'm Japanese. I'm from Japan. 의자 의자 Chair 건물 건물 Building 교과서 교과서 Textbook 고양이 고양이 Cat 소주 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 Alcoholic beverage of Korean origin 아주 아주 Very 예쁘다 예쁘다 Pretty 재미있다 재미있다 Funny Interesting 잘생겼다 잘생겼다 Handsome 똑똑하다 똑똑하다 Clever Intelligent 좋다 좋다 Good 나쁘다 나쁘다 Bad 편하다 편하다 Comfortable 높다 높다 High Tall Inanimate only 낮다 낮다 Low Inanimate only 싸다 싸다 Cheap 비싸다 비싸다 Expensive 감사합니다 감사합니다 Thank you A formal form 고맙습니다 고맙습니다 Thank you A less formal form It is not appropriate to use this word with elders or social superiors 천만해요 천만해요 You're welcome Not at all 별말씀을요 별말씀을요 You're welcome Don't mention it 죄송합니다 죄송합니다 I'm sorry A formal form 미안합니다 미안합니다 
I'm sorry, a less formal form. 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요. Goodbye, said to someone who's living. 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 계세요. Goodbye, said to someone who is staying. are used when you point towards something. They are all placed before nouns they are describing. E refers to something that is within touching distance. It is translated as these. 이 사람은 변호사입니다. 이 사람은 변호사입니다. This person is a lawyer. 이 가방은 예쁩니다. 이 가방은 예쁩니다. This bag is pretty. 이 여자는 운동선수입니다. 이 여자는 운동선수입니다. This woman is an athlete. 그 refers to something that is close to the speaker but far from the listener. 그 can be also used when the object is out of sight but both speaker and listener know what they are talking about from a previous sentence or context. It is the equivalent of that. 그 학생은 똑똑합니다. 그 학생은 똑똑합니다. That student is clever. 그 책은 좋습니다. 그 책은 좋습니다. That book is good. 그 의자가 편합니다. 그 의자가 편합니다. That chair is comfortable. Both 그 and 이 are used to specify the noun which is being talked about. The usage of these pronouns with the noun is similar to the usage of the definite article in English. 저 refers to an object that is removed both from the speaker and the listener. It is translated as that over there. 저 건물이 높습니다. 저 건물이 높습니다. That building over there is tall. 저 남자는 잘생겼습니다. 저 남자는 잘생겼습니다. That man over there is handsome. 저 여자는 누구입니까? 저 여자는 누구입니까? Who is that woman over there? 이, 그, 저 can often be used with the word cod, meaning a thing. When demonstrative pronouns are used with cod, it becomes a compound word. Therefore, it's written without a space. 이것이 무엇입니까? What is this? 이것은 교과서입니다. This is a textbook. Cod is literally translated as thing. It is used for both tangible and abstract objects. Cod is rather often used in Korean and we tend not to interpret it literally every time we come across this word. Also, 이, 그, 저것은 can be shortened to 이, 그, 저건 and 이, 그, 저것이 is shortened to 이, 그, 저게, especially in everyday speech. 그건 비쌉니다. 그건 비쌉니다. That thing is expensive. 이게 뭡니까? 이게 무엇입니까? 이게 뭡니까? 무엇입니까? What is this? There are two ways to express numbers in Korean. One is of Korean origin and the other of Chinese origin. First, we will learn about pure Korean numbers. The Korean number set is used counting from 1 up to 99. Let's hear how they are pronounced. 
하나 하나 둘둘셋셋넷넷 다섯 다섯 여섯 여섯 일곱 일곱 여덟 여덟 아홉 아홉 열열 열하나 열하나 열둘 열둘 열셋 열셋 열넷 열넷 열다섯 열다섯 열여섯 열여섯 열일곱 열일곱 열여덟 열여덟 열아홉 열아홉 스물 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 하나 스물 하나 스물 둘 스물 둘 스물 셋 스물 셋 스물 넷 스물 넷 스물 다섯 스물 다섯 스물 여섯 스물 여섯 스물 일곱 스물 일곱 스물 여덟 스물 여덟 스물 아홉 스물 아홉 서른 하나 서른 하나 마흔 둘 마흔 둘 신셋 신셋 예순 넷 예순 넷 일흔 다섯 일흔 다섯 여든 여섯 여든 여섯 아흔 일곱 아흔 일곱 Korean numbers are used for counting real, tangible things as opposed to abstract ones. For example, people, animals, vegetables, books, bottles of water, etc. Telling and asking the age of a person. Telling the time, but only for the hour. Minutes and seconds are told using Sino Korean numbers. Counting hours and months. It is also possible to count months with Sino Korean numbers. Korean numbers are usually followed by a counter which identifies what is being counted. When numbers hana, tul, set, net, sumul are used with counters, the final letter is dropped. Here is a list of some counters. Myung People Haksing Ilgom Myung. 학생 일곱 명. Seven students. 훈. People. It's a honorific form. It is also used to refer to someone in a polite way. 교수님 다섯 분. 교수님 다섯 분. Five professors. Body. Animals. 고양이 세 마리. 고양이 세 마리. Three cats. 살. Years. 스무 살. 스무 살. Twenty years old. 개. Objects. 바나나 여섯 개. 바나나 여섯 개. Six bananas. 병, bottles. 소주 두 병. 소주 두 병. Two bottles of soju. 찬, 
cups. Kopi hanjan. Kopi hanjan. One cup of coffee. Guan. Books. Check ne guan. Check ne guan. Four books. Pon. Times. Hanbon. Hanbon. One time. When you want to ask how much or how many, you should use the interrogative pronoun miat before a counter. Mio salimnika? How old are you? Yor a hop salimnida. Mio nyongimnika? How many people are there? There are four people. Kopi Miochanika? How many cups of coffee are there? Tujanimnida. There are two cups. Sagwa Miotkimnika? How many apples are there? Yosokimnida. There are six apples. There are six speech styles in the Korean language. Each style is used to indicate the level of formality for the situation. In our course, we will cover only two of them, the formal polite style and the informal polite style. In this video, we will learn about the formal polite style. Let's see when it's used. When meeting someone for the first time, especially if a person is apparently much older than you. While addressing someone who is much older than you or of a higher social rank, the CEO of a company, a professor, a minister, etc. Informal situations. Speaking with colleagues in formal settings, giving a public speech, etc. By radio or TV announcers, in a service industry while addressing customers, in various fixed expressions. 감사합니다, 죄송합니다, 잘 먹겠습니다, etc. Korean word order is S, O, V. Subject, object, verb. In Korean, the verb is the most important part of the sentence, and a sentence cannot be built without one. Verbs or better predicates in Korean are represented by active verbs, descriptive verbs or adjectives, and the copula ida, which is attached to nouns. The endings in the formal polite styles are affixed to verbs only and therefore are always at the end of the sentence. The formal polite style has declarative, interrogative, imperative, and propositive sentence types. In this lesson, we will learn about declarative and interrogative types only. We are already acquainted with some endings. Let's start with the declarative form. If the stem ends in a vowel or the consonant riol, nida is attached to a word stem. If a verb ends in riol, then riol is dropped and nida is attached to the vowel. Poda. Pomnida. Poda. Pomnida. Sida. Sumnida. Sida. Sumnida. Poneda. Ponemnida. Poneda. Ponemnida. Mandilda Mandimnida Mandilda Mandimnida Himnilda Himdimnida Himdilda Himdimnida 
If the stem ends in a consonant other than real, sumnida is used. Ikta, iksumnida. Ikta, iksumnida. Mokta, moksumnida. Mokta, moksumnida. Tutta, tussumnida. Tutta, tussumnida. Interrogative form. If the stem ends in a vowel or the consonant riol, nika is used. Boda, bomika. Boda, bomika. Suda, sumika. Suda, sumika. Boneda. 보냅니까? 보내다. 보냅니까? 만들다. 만듭니까? 만들다. 만듭니까? 힘들다. 힘듭니까? 힘들다. 힘듭니까? If the stem ends in a consonant other than riol, sumnika is used. Ikta, iksumnika. Ikta, iksumnika. Mokta, moksumnika. Mokta, moksumnika. Tutta, tussumnika. 듣다, 듣습니까? 지수 씨는 몇 살입니까? 저는 스물두 살입니다. 마리아 씨는 몇 살입니까? 저는 스물한 살입니다. 지수 씨는 어느 나라 사람입니까? 저는 한국 사람입니다. 마리아 씨는 미국 사람입니까? 아니요. 저는 미국 사람이 아닙니다. 저는 러시아 사람입니다. Jisoo 씨, 저 사람이 누구입니까? 선생님입니까? 그 사람은 선생님이 아닙니다. 우리 반 친구입니다. 마리아 씨, 이것은 무엇입니까? 이것은 책입니다. 무슨 책입니까? 러시아 책입니다. 재밌습니까? 네, 아주 재미있습니다. 어디 어디 where 오 오. 5 Sina Korean number 8 8 8 Sina Korean number 남자친구 남자친구 Boyfriend Often shortened to 남친 여자친구 여자친구 girlfriend often shortened to 여친 지하철 지하철 subway 지하철역 지하철역 subway station 은행 은행 Bank. 우체국. 우체국. Post office. 
Kage. Kage. Shop, store. Umsikjom. Umsikjom. Restaurant, cafe. Bus Jongnyujang. Bus Jongnyujang. Bus station. Dehakgyo. Dehakgyo. University. Often shortened to Hakgyo. Gyosil. Gyosil. Classroom. Dosogwan. Dosogwan. Library. Chip. Chip. Home. 방, 방, room, 층, 층, floor, 벽, 벽, wall, 물건, 물건, thing, stuff, a tangible object, 공책, 공책, notebook. Computer. 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 시계. 시계. Clock. Watch. 필통. 필통. Pencil case. 연필. 연필. Pencil. 볼펜. Pen. Pen. Chigap. Chigap. Wallet. Yolswe. Yolswe. Key. Kaul. Kaul. Mirror. Yakwan. Yakwan. Passport. Huji. Huji. Tissue or toilet paper. Gyotong card. Gyotong card. Transport card. Hallo Sajon. Hallo Sajon. Korean Russian Dictionary. Chiksang. Chiksang. Desk. Chimde. Chimde. Bad. Paru. Paru. At once, right away. Chigum. Chigum. Now. Chongmal. Chongmal. Really, truly, indeed. Kuda. Kuda. Big. 작다 작다 small 많다 많다 a lot 적다 적다 few little 무겁다 무겁다 heavy 가볍다 가볍다 light 괜찮다. 괜찮다. Fine, good, all right, okay. 살다. 살다. To live. Itta is a verb expressing existence or possession of something. The noun which precedes itta acquires the subject particle i ka. Both ida and itta sometimes are translated in English as to be, but itta is more to have, to exist. Opta is the opposite of itta and expresses the non existence of something. 무엇이 있습니까? What do you have? 공책이 있습니다. I have a notebook. 남자친구가 있습니까? 
Do you have a boyfriend? 아니요, 없습니다. No, I don't. To say that something is located in a place, the particle of location 어 is added to a place name. It operates like in or at in English to show that someone or something being somewhere in a static state. 수미 씨가 집에 있습니까? Is Sumi at home? 네, 있습니다. Yes, she is at home. 교실에 컴퓨터가 있습니까? Is there a computer in the classroom? 아니요, 없습니다. No, there is not. As you can see from the examples above, the position of the noun relative to the particle of location is not fixed. It can precede the noun with the subject particle or it can be placed after the noun. However, it sounds more natural to put the word where or the after the noun with the subject particle. Maria 씨가 어디 있습니까? Where is Maria? 우체국에 있습니다. She is at the post office. 시계가 어디에 있습니까? Where is the clock? 벽에 있습니다. It's on the wall. Commutative particle is used to attach two nouns together and corresponds to and or with in English. There are three kinds of commutative particles in Korean. Wa gua is official and formal form and is used in writing, presentations and speeches. Wa is used after nouns ending with vowels, gua after consonants. Bangye, 책상과 침대가 있습니다. 방에 책상과 침대가 있습니다. There is a desk and a bed in the room. 누나와 부모님이 집에 없습니다. 누나와 부모님이 집에 없습니다. The parents and elder sister are not at home. 하고 and 이랑 are used in everyday speech. Hagu is used no matter what the final vowel is. 언니가 저하고 지금 은행에 있습니다. 언니가 저하고 지금 은행에 있습니다. My elder sister and I are at the bank now. 반 친구는 김 교수님하고 음식점에 있습니다. 반 친구는 김 교수님하고 음식점에 있습니다. Classmates are at the restaurant with Professor Kim. 이랑 is used after final consonants. 랑 is used after vowels. 필통에 볼펜이랑 연필이 있습니다. 필통에 볼펜이랑 연필이 있습니다. There is a pen and a pencil in the pencil case. 가방에 열쇠랑 여권이 없습니다. 가방에 열쇠랑 여권이 없습니다. There is no key or passport in the bag. It is possible to use 와, 과, 하고, 이랑 with 같이 and 함께, meaning together with. 누구하고 삽니까? With whom do you live? 저는 부모님이랑 같이 삽니다. I live together with my parents. The particle 보 corresponds to to, also, as well, both and English. It is attached to either a word stem or some other particles which have been already attached to the stem. 지갑에 현금도 카드도 있습니다. 지갑에 현금도 카드도 있습니다. I have both cash and a card in my wallet. 우리 집에 방이 세개 있습니다. We have a three-room apartment. Literally, there are three rooms in our apartment. 우리 집에도 방이 세개 있습니다. 
we also have a three-room apartment. Literally, there are three rooms in our apartment as well. Jessie 씨는 호주 사람입니다. 저도 호주 사람입니다. Jessie 씨는 호주 사람입니다. 저도 호주 사람입니다. Jessie is Australian. I'm Australian too. Unlike in English, there are no location prepositions or any prepositions at all in the Korean language. However, it's possible to express the location of something in space by using location nouns. You can think of them as prepositions. They are placed after the noun with respect to which something is located. Compare in English, at school, in Korean, literally, school at. 위, top. 강아지가 의자 위에 있습니다. 강아지가 의자 위에 있습니다. The puppy is on top of the chair. 아래, below. 강아지가 의자 아래에 있습니다. 강아지가 의자 아래에 있습니다. The puppy is below the chair. Mid, underside. 강아지가 의자 밑에 있습니다. 강아지가 의자 밑에 있습니다. The puppy is underneath the chair. 오른쪽, right side. 강아지가 의자 오른쪽에 있습니다. 강아지가 의자 오른쪽에 있습니다. The puppy is on the right of the chair. 왼쪽, left side. 강아지가 의자 왼쪽에 있습니다. 강아지가 의자 왼쪽에 있습니다. The puppy is on the left of the chair. Up, front. 강아지가 의자 앞에 있습니다. 강아지가 의자 앞에 있습니다. The puppy is in front of the chair. 뒤, back. 강아지가 의자 뒤에 있습니다. 강아지가 의자 뒤에 있습니다. The puppy is behind the chair. 옆, side. 강아지가 의자 옆에 있습니다. 강아지가 의자 옆에 있습니다. The puppy is beside the chair. 사이, between. The first noun goes with 와, 과, 하고, 이랑, and the second noun goes with 사이에. 강아지가 의자와 책상 사이에 있습니다. 강아지가 의자와 책상 사이에 있습니다. The puppy is between the chair and the desk. 가운데, center. 강아지가 방 가운데에 있습니다. The puppy is in the center of the room. 안, inside. 강아지가 상자 안에 있습니다. 강아지가 상자 안에 있습니다. The puppy is inside the box. 확, outside. 강아지가 상자 밖에 있습니다. 강아지가 상자 밖에 있습니다. The puppy is outside the box. 근처, vicinity. 그 가게가 지하철역 근처에 있습니다. 그 가게가 지하철역 근처에 있습니다. That store is in the vicinity of the subway station. The particle 의 
indicates possession or belonging. It is attached to the possessor. Note that ui is pronounced as e when it is not part of a stem but of the possessive particle. 이것은 제크의 교통카드입니다. This is Jack's transport card. 저분은 우리의 선생님입니다. That person over there is our teacher. 그 고양이는 언니의 고양입니다. 그 고양이는 언니의 고양이입니다. This cat is my eldest sister's. 이것은 누구의 것입니까? 이것은 누구의 것입니까? Whose thing is this? 의 is frequently dropped like almost any other particle in everyday speech if it's clear what is meant from the context. Jisoo 씨, 집이 어디에 있습니까? 우리 집은 지하철 근처에 있습니다. 은행과 우체국 사이에 8층 건물이 있습니다. 그 건물 5층에 우리 집이 있습니다. 집이 어떻습니까? 집이 좋습니다. 집 아래층에 가게와 음식점이 있습니다. 그리고 집 바로 앞에 버스 정류장도 있습니다. 그래서 편합니다. 누구의 가방입니까? 제 가방입니다. 가방이 아주 큽니다. 무겁습니까? 가방 안에 무엇이 있습니까? 아니요. 괜찮습니다. 가방 안에는 한러 사전, 한국 책과 교과서가 두권 있습니다. 그리고 필통, 지갑, 열쇠, 거울, 여권과 휴지가 있습니다. 물건이 정말 많습니다. 예. Yeah. 예. Yeah. Yes. More formal than 네. Frequently used only with the formal polite style. 자. 자. Well. Interjection. 그러면. 그러면. Then, in that case, if so. 그럼 is the shortened form. 그리고. 그리고. And. 그래서. 그래서. And so. Therefore. 중. 중. Among. 수업. 수업. Class. Course. Lesson. 신문. 신문. Newspaper. 잡지. 잡지. Magazine. Text. 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 음악. 음악. Music. 편지. 편지. Letter. 옷. 옷. Clothes. 영화. 영화. Film. 밥. 밥. Rice. Mail. 문. 문. Door. 창문. 창문. Window. 시간. Time. 백화점. 백화점. Department store. 영화관. 영화관. Cinema. 병원. 병원. Hospital. 노래방. 
노래방 카라오케 회사 회사 컴퍼니 firm 자주 자주 often 매일 매일 every day 많이 많이 a lot adverb 잘잘 well 내일 내일 tomorrow 만나다 만나다 to meet 사다 사다 to buy 열다 열다 to open 닫다 닫다 to close 마시다 마시다 to drink 받다 받다 to receive 알다 알다 to know by attaching the suffix cat to the word stem we create the verb i'll get which is more commonly used with the formal style ending mida smida algesmida algesmida literally means able to be aware of something but we don't need to translate it like this algesmida is translated as to understand to get it is more formal than alta 모르다 모르다 not to know 모르겠습니다 is similar to 알겠습니다 in terms of usage 모르겠습니다 is best translated in english as i wouldn't know 시작하다 시작하다 to start 일하다 일하다 to work 운동하다 운동하다 to exercise 공부하다 공부하다 to study 노래하다 노래하다 to sing 말하다 말하다 to say to tell 좋아하다 좋아하다 to like 싫어하다 싫어하다 to dislike 덥다 덥다 hot 안다 안다 to say it o comes from the chinese character which literally means language note that this character cannot be used by itself similarly to in a person in hangugin but only as a part of another word o is attached to the name of a country and the meaning of the resulting word becomes the language of this country 중국어 중국어 the chinese language 일본어 일본어 the japanese language 러시아어 러시아어 the russian language 영어 영어 the english language not 영국어 독일어 독일어 the german language The noun to which the object particle l, r, r, is attached acts as an object in the sentence. If a noun ends in a consonant, then l is used, and if it ends with a vowel, r is used. 저는 영화를 봅니다. 저는 영화를 봅니다. I watch a film. 이 여자는 책을 읽습니다. 이 여자는 책을 읽습니다. The girl reads a book. In colloquial speech, the object particle is sometimes shortened or even omitted if it's clear from the context what is the object of the sentence. 저는 이걸 매일 삽니다. 저는 이걸 매일 삽니다. I buy it every day. Note that the verb 살다, to live, and 사다 to buy become identical when the formal ending 니다 is attached. 삽니다. In this case, 
we can only guess the meaning of the verb in the sentence by the context. 커피를 마십니까? Do you drink coffee? 네, 마십니다. Yes, I do. Even though particles in Korean may be shortened or omitted in everyday speech, it's important to know that all particles must be used in their full forms in writing. 은지 씨가 친구를 매일 만납니다. 은지 씨가 친구를 매일 만납니다. 은지 meets her friends every day. 현준 씨는 음악을 듣습니다. 현준 씨는 음악을 듣습니다. 현준 listens to music. 에릭 씨가 밥을 많이 먹습니다. 에릭 씨가 밥을 많이 먹습니다. Eric eats a lot. There are some verbs in Korean that are mostly used with objects which are derived from the verbs. 잠을 자다. 잠을 자다. To sleep. 춤을 추다. 춤을 추다. To dance. 그림을 그리다. 그림을 그리다. To draw. 꿈을 꾸다. 꿈을 꾸다. To dream. The verb 먹다 also requires an object. Usually the word 밥 acts as an object for this verb. 밥 is not translated only as rice but also as food, meal. 밥을 먹다. 밥을 먹다. To eat. 밥 can be also replaced by 아침, 점심. 저녁. 아침을 먹다. 아침을 먹다. To have breakfast. 점심을 먹다. 점심을 먹다. To have lunch. 저녁을 먹다. 저녁을 먹다. To have supper. There are a lot of verbs in Korean that end in 하다. 하다 is literally translated as to do and is used with a lot of nouns. With this verb, the object particle is frequently dropped and two words become a single compound word. 운동을 하다. 운동을 하다. To exercise. 운동하다. 운동하다. 공부를 하다. 공부를 하다. To study. 공부하다. 공부하다. 노래를 하다. 노래를 하다. To sing. Or, 노래를 부르다. 노래를 부르다. To sing. 노래하다. 노래하다. 일을 하다. 일을 하다. To work. 일하다. 일하다. 말을 하다. 말을 하다. To say, to tell. 말하다. 말하다. The only exceptions are the words 좋아하다, to like, instead of 좋아를 하다. 저는 그 영화를 좋아합니다. 저는 그 영화를 좋아합니다. I like that film. 싫어하다, to dislike, instead of 싫어를 하다. 저는 그 책을 싫어합니다. 저는 그 책을 싫어합니다. I dislike that book or I don't like that book. Here are some examples of the use of compound verbs constructed with 하다. Note that an adverb is placed between the object and the predicate. 리사 씨는 일을 많이 합니다. 리사 씨는 일을 많이 합니다. Lisa works a lot. 제프 씨는 매일 운동합니다. 제프 씨는 매일 운동합니다. Jeff exercises every day. 저는 일본어를 합니다. 저는 일본어를 합니다. I speak Japanese. 우리는 한국어를 공부합니다. 우리는 한국어를 공부합니다. We study Korean. 한국 가수들 중에 누구를 좋아합니까? 
한국 가수들 중에 누구를 좋아합니까? Who do you like among Korean singers? All Korean pronouns belong to the same category as normal nouns. We put them into a separate chapter to compare them with English counterparts and explain to you how they operate in the Korean language. First person pronouns. Singular. 저. I. Humble. 저는. Or 전. 제가. 저의. Or 제. 저를. 저. 저는 전 제가 저의 제 저를 나 I plain 나는 or 난 내가 나의 or 내 나를 나 나는 난 내가 나의 내 나를 plural 저희 we humble 저희는 저희가 저희 저희를 저희 저희는 저희가 저희 저희를 우리 we plain 우리는 or 우린 우리가 우리의 의 is often dropped 우리를 우리 우리는 우린 우리가 우리의 우리를 Humble personal pronouns are used with people whom you don't know well or whom you see for the first time, with older people or those of higher social rank. Plain nouns are used with your intimates or with children. Plain nouns require informal speech. There is no substitution for the pronoun you in the Korean language. There are several ways to address someone in a polite way. The first way is to use a person's title if you know it for sure. If you don't know the title of the elder, the generic title 선생님 can be used instead. Also, you can avoid using a pronoun or a title at all because it is possible to make a sentence without them. The best way to address a group of people or an audience is to say 여러분 or 여러분들 Some non-honorific second-person pronouns Singular 너 너는 네가 네 너를 or 널너 너는 네가 네 너를 널 당신, 당신은, 당신이, 당신의, 당신을 당신, 당신은, 당신이, 당신의, 당신을 Plural 너희들, or 너희, 너희들은, or 너희는, 너희들이, or 너희가, 너희들의, or 너희, 너희들을, or 너희를. 너희들, 너희들은, 너희는, 너희들이, 너희가. 너희들의 
너희, 너희들을, 너희를. No is used with your intimates of the same age as you are, or younger, and also with children. Be careful not to use it with elders or non-intimates. No requires an informal speech ending. 당신 is used between spouses. When there is an affection arising between a man and a woman, and a man may use 당신 to show his feelings and his desire to be closer to a woman. This pronoun is also used in poetry while addressing a lover. When Koreans, not necessarily spouses and lovers, argue with each other. In this case, 당신 is used to show disrespect. There are no proper third-person pronouns in Korean. Usually, to refer to someone, demonstrative pronouns are used with nouns or titles. For example, 그 남자는 운동을 많이 합니다. 그 남자는 운동을 많이 합니다. That man exercises a lot. 저 여자는 춤을 잘 춥니다. 저 여자는 춤을 잘 춥니다. That woman over there dances well. 그 사람은 한국어를 공부합니다. 그 사람은 한국어를 공부합니다. He studies Korean. 그분은 우리 선생님입니다. 그분은 우리 선생님입니다. He is our teacher. 그 여자분은 똑똑합니다. 그 여자분은 똑똑합니다. She is smart. The particle 덜 marks that a noun is plural. But unlike English, the plural form is optional in Korean. There is almost no difference in their formulations. 사람이 많습니다. 사람이 많습니다. There are a lot of people. 사람들이 많습니다. 사람들이 많습니다. There are a lot of people. The particle is used only in cases when you want to emphasize the plurality and to remove ambiguity in a sentence. Previously, we have already learned that e is the particle of location when we want to express something being somewhere in a static action. This particle also has a different meaning. It expresses movement towards a location or a goal. e is often followed by the verbs of motion, such as 가다, 오다, 다니다. Let's have a look at how to use them. 가다 overall means to go and 오다 means to come, but they cannot be used literally as they can in English. The use of these two verbs is determined by the location of the speaker. If a speaker says that someone is moving from him or her, 가다 is used. 민수 씨가 대학교에 갑니다. 민수 씨가 대학교에 갑니다. Minsu is going to university. Note that in Korean, the present tense can be expressed both as present simple and present progressive as it is in English. If a speaker tells about someone who is moving towards him or her, 오다 is used. 마리아 씨는 한국에 언제 옵니까? Maria, when are you coming to Korea? 내일 갑니다. I'm going tomorrow. 다니다 means to go somewhere on a regular basis, that is, to go to school, office, sport club, and so on. 언니가 학원에 다닙니다. 언니가 학원에 다닙니다. My elder sister attends a private educational institute. Here are some more examples on how to use verbs of motion with the particle e. 어디에 갑니까? Where are you going? 기숙사에 갑니다. I'm going to the dormitory. 저는 오늘 생일이 있습니다. Michael씨, 
생일 파티 옵니까? Today is my birthday. Are you coming to my birthday party, Michael? 네, 갑니다. Yes, I'm going. 형은 회사원입니다. 그래서 매일 회사에 다닙니다. 형은 회사원입니다. 그래서 매일 회사에 다닙니다. My older brother is an office worker. Therefore, he goes to the office every day. 컴퓨터 포멀 플라이트 센텐스 아 메이드 바이 아타칭 십시오 투 버브 스템 엔딩 인 어발 오인 리얼 앤드 우십시오 이즈 아타치 투 버브 스템 엔딩 인 컨센트 운동하다 운동하다 운동하 플러스 십시오 운동하십시오 운동하십시오 열다 열다 여 플러스 십시오 여십시오 여십시오 읽다 읽다 읽 플러스 으십시오 읽으십시오 읽으십시오 Some more examples of verbs in imperative form 물을 많이 마십시오 물을 많이 마십시오 Please drink a lot of water 공부를 열심히 하십시오. 공부를 열심히 하십시오. Please study hard. 케이크를 만드십시오. 케이크를 만드십시오. Please make a cake. 메일을 보내십시오. 메일을 보내십시오. Please send an email. Prepositive form and polite sentences are made by attaching 시다 To action verbs without patim in the stem or with real in patim. Upsida is attached to verbs with patim. Undonghada. Undonghada. Undongha plus sida. Undonghapsida. Undonghapsida. Mandilda. Mandilda. Mandi plus sida. 만듭시다. 만듭시다. 읽다. 읽다. 읽 플러스 읍시다. 읽읍시다. 읽읍시다. Proposed formal polite ending 시다, 읍시다 is usually translated as let's do something. It is used to suggest doing something to a listener or to a group of listeners. Here are some examples of words in prepositive form. 도서관에 같이 갑시다. 도서관에 같이 갑시다. Let's go to the library together. 영화를 봅시다. 영화를 봅시다. Let's watch a film. 창문을 엽시다. 창문을 엽시다. Let's open a window. 점심을 먹읍시다. 점심을 먹읍시다. Let's eat lunch. 어디에있습니까 Where are you? 기숙사에 있습니다. I'm in the dormitory. 기숙사에서 뭘 합니까? What are you doing in the dormitory? 영화를 봅니다. 
그리고 과자를 먹습니다. I'm watching a film and eating snacks. Some more examples with "에서." 저는 으, 음식점에서 점심을 매일 먹습니다. I have lunch in this restaurant every day. 옷을 어디에서 삽니까? Where do you buy clothes? 그 옷가게에서 삽니다. I buy clothes in that clothing store. 저는 학원에 다닙니다. 거기에서 영어를 공부합니다. 저는 학원에 다닙니다. 거기에서 영어를 공부합니다. I attend a private educational institute. I study English there. 어디에 갑니까? 저는 롯데백화점에 갑니다. 백화점에서 무엇을 합니까? 옷을 삽니다. 그리고 밥도 먹습니다. 마리아 씨는 시간이 있습니까? 네, 있습니다. 그러면 백화점에 같이 갑시다. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, 선생님. 교실이 아주 덥습니다. 마리아 씨, 문을 좀 여십시오. 네. 자, 수업을 시작합시다. 여러분, 앉으십시오. 그리고 텍스트를 읽으십시오. 네, 선생님. 알겠습니다. 남동생 남동생 younger brother 여동생 여동생 younger sister tree g mouse rat 몸무게 몸무게 weight of a person key key height of a person 성격 성격 character personality 기분 기분 mood 화이팅 화이팅 good luck literally fighting one 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 south korean currency 전화번호 전화번호 telephone number 우산 우산 umbrella 사진기 사진기 카메라 시험 시험 exam 버스 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 술술 술. alcohol 헬스장 헬스장 fitness club 운동장 운동장 stadium schoolyard 시내 시내 City center. 가끔. 가끔. Sometimes. 일어나다. 일어나다. To wake up, to get up. 샤워하다. 샤워하다. To take a shower. 이를 닦다. 이를 닦다. To brush one's teeth. 요리하다. 요리하다. To cook. 집을 나가다 집을 나가다 to leave home 놀다 놀다 to hang out 구경하다 구경하다 to look around to go sightseeing 전화하다 전화하다 to call 시간을 보내다 시간을 보내다 to spend time to pass the time 
Iyagi Hada. Iyagi Hada. To tell a story, to have a talk, to recount. Pegu Hada. Pegu Hada. To play volleyball. Chunbi Hada. Chunbi Hada. To prepare. Pigunada. Pigunada. To be tired. Cholida. Cholida. To feel sleepy. Toragada. Torauda. Toragada. Torauda. To go back. To come back. Nota. Nota. To put. To place something on something. Nota. Nota. To put. To place something into something. Nanuda. Nanuda. To split. To divide. Nutta. Nutta. To be late. Mitta. Mitta. To believe. Kidarida. Kidarida. To wait. Tueda. Tueda. To become. Shida. Shida. To rest. Atim Shiksarul Hada. Atim Shiksarul Hada. To have breakfast. More formal. Tom Sim Shiksarul Hada. Tom Sim Shiksarul Hada. To have lunch. More formal. Tom Yok Shiksarul Hada. Tom Yok Shiksarul Hada. To have supper. More formal. Olmaida. Olmaida. How much? Used to ask about the price. In this video, we will learn about the second set of Korean numbers which are of Chinese origin. They are called Sino Korean numbers. 0, 0 or 0. 0, 0. 1, 1. 1. 2, 2. 2. 3, 3. 3. 4, 4. 4. 5. 5. 5. 6. 6. 6. 7. 7. 7. 8. 8. 8. 9. 9. 9. 10. 10. 10. 11. 11. 11. 12. 12. 12. 13. 13. 13. 14. 14. 14. 15. 15. 15. 16. 16. 16. 17. 17. 17. 18. 18. 18. 19. 19. 19. 20. 20. 20. 21. 21. 22. 22. 22. 23, 23, 23, 24, 24, 24, 25, 25, 25, 26, 26, 26, 27, 27, 27, 28, 28, 28 29. 29. 29. Sometimes you may come across the number 6, 6, and see that it's written as 6. 
Both yuk and ryuk are correct and are used to pronounce the Chinese character six. Nowadays, six on its own is usually written as yu. Unlike all the other numbers, the number six is subject to various mutations when it appears as part of numbers, like 16, 26, 60, and so on. Its pronunciation depends on its position in the word. The number six is pronounced as yu in word initial position and as luk when it follows a vowel, riol, or other consonants. According to the rules of assimilation, luk becomes nuk after consonants, except for riol, so 16 is pronounced as simnuk, and 106 is pronounced as pengnuk. 30. Samsip. Samsip. 40. Sasip. Sasip. 50. Osip. Osip. 60. Yuksip. Yuksip. 70. Chilsip. Chilsip. 80. Palsip. Palsip. 90. Gusip. Gusip. 100. Pek. Pek. 200. Ebek. 200. 300. 300. 300. 400. 400. 400. 500. 500. 500. 600. 600. 600. 700. 700. 700. 800. 800. 800. 900. 900. 900. 1000. 1000. 1000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 3000. 3000. 3000. 4000. 4000. 4000. 5000. 5000. 5000. 6000. 6000. 6,000 7,000 7,000 7,000 8,000 8,000 8,000 9,000 9,000 9,000 10,000 만 만. 100,000 10만 10만 1 million 100만 백만 10 million 천만 천만 100 million 억 억. How to read large numbers? 7만 5천 210 7만 5천 210 278만 6천 349 278만 6,349 3,496만 5,882 3,496만 5,882 Scenic Korean numbers are used to tell minutes and seconds and to count them, to tell the date, to count days, weeks, months, years. It's also possible to use pure Korean numbers to count days and months. To tell prices. 이 사진기가 얼마입니까? How much is this camera? 25만 원입니다. It is 250,000 won. 이 우산이 얼마입니까? How much is this umbrella? 37,000 원입니다. It is 37,000 won. To give a telephone number. 전화번호가 뭡니까? What is your phone number? 0216-8561-3129 It is 016 To tell the number of a bus, a room number, 
a floor number, etc. 병원이 몇 층에 있습니까? What floor is the hospital on? 3층에 있습니다. It's on the third floor. 저 버스는 몇 번입니까? What number is that bus over there? 409 or 409 번 버스입니다. That bus is the number 409. To tell weight and height. 몸무게가 몇 킬로그램입니까? What is your weight? 72 킬로그램입니다. It is 72 kilogram. 키가 몇 센티미터입니까? What is your height? 164 센티미터입니다. It is 164 centimeters. 1시 2시 2시 3시 3시 4시 4시 5시 5시 6시 6시 7시 7시 8시 8시 9시 9시 10시 10시 11시 11시 12시 12시 Sino Korean numbers are used for telling minutes, 분, and seconds, 초 2시 15분 2시 15분 4시 23분 4시 23분 6시 30분 or 6시 반 6시 30분 6시 반 12시 56분 10초 12시 56분 10초. The question what time is it is 몇 시입니까? To tell the time, 이다 is added to 시, 분, or 반. For a.m. and p.m., 오전 and 오후 are used respectively. 지금 몇 시입니까? What time is it now? 오후 1시 5분입니다. It is 1, 5 p.m. 지금 몇 시입니까? What time is it now? 오후 3시 반입니다. It's 3.30 p.m. 지금 몇 시입니까? What time is it now? 오전 11시입니다. It is 11 a.m. As well as the one we have already met, the particle 에 has another meaning. It expresses time, either in terms of hours and minutes, or in some less precise, more traditional fashion. It corresponds to at or on in English. E is attached to time nouns, which we will call all nouns corresponding to periods of time, except for 오늘, today, 내일, tomorrow, 모레, day after tomorrow, 어제, yesterday, 그저께, the day before yesterday. 아는 씨는 8시에 일어납니다. 안나 씨는 8시에 일어납니다. Anna wakes up at 8 o'clock. 오늘 오후에 수업이 있습니까? Do you have classes today in the afternoon? 아니요, 없습니다. No, I don't have any. 그럼 6시에 저녁을 먹읍시다. Then let's eat lunch at 6 o'clock. To express day and night in Korean, we use 낮 and 밤 respectively. Also, the 24-hour period is subdivided into smaller units. The period of time from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. is 새벽, morning is 아침, 
Noon and lunch time is 점심. Evening is 저녁. 제임스 씨는 밤 12시에 잠을 잡니다. 제임스 씨는 밤 12시에 잠을 잡니다. James goes to sleep at 12 p.m. 몇 시에 헬스장에 갑니까? What time do you go to the fitness club? 저녁 7시에 갑니다. At 7 p.m. 부터 and 까지 are used to express the range of a period of time. In English, they correspond to from and until respectively. 리사는 아침 9시부터 오후 5시까지 일합니다. 리사는 아침 9시부터 오후 5시까지 일합니다. Lisa works from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. 대학교에 수업이 오전 10시부터 오후 3시 반까지 있습니다. 대학교 수업이 오전 10시부터 오후 3시 반까지 있습니다. Classes at university are from 10 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. 그 백화점은 문을 몇 시부터 몇 시까지 엽니까? When is the department store open? Literally, from what time and to what time is the department store open? 오전 11시부터 오후 10시까지 엽니다. It is open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. When choosing between different suffixes to use, we apply to the Korean language a principle known as vowel harmony. Vowel harmony refers to the matching or pairing of bright vowels going with bright vowels and of dark and neutral vowels with dark vowels. Bright vowels A, O go with the following vowel A. Dark vowels O, U, we, we. Go with the following vowel, a. Uh. Neutral vowels, u, e. Go with the following vowel, a. Uh. Traditionally, the vowel harmony rule was always strictly respected in Korean. However, in the modern language, it is not observed so very carefully. Nevertheless, in general, the usages of Korean suffixes are determined by preceding vowels in the stem of a predicate. So let's see how this rule works. In this lesson, we will learn about how the vowel harmony rule operates using suffixes of the past tense. The past tense is formed by attaching suffixes at, ot, yot to the stem of predicates. When the stem ends in a vowel a, except for hada or o, the suffix ad is used. Kada, kasumnida. Kada, kasumnida. Manta, manasumnida. Manta, manasumnida. Patta, padasumnida. Patta, padasumnida. 보다, 보았습니다. 보다, 보았습니다. 높다, 높았습니다. 높다, 높았습니다. 놓다, 놓았습니다. 놓다, 놓았습니다. As for hada predicates, the suffix yot is attached to the stem. Hayot is shortened to hat, which is used more frequently in Korean. 노래하다, 노래했습니다. 노래하다, 노래했습니다. 공부하다, 공부했습니다. 공부하다, 공부했습니다. When the stem of a predicate ends in a vowels, a, u, u. E, we, we, the suffix ot is usually used. 
먹다 먹었습니다. 먹다 먹었습니다. 넣다 넣었습니다. 넣다 넣었습니다. 나누다 나누었습니다. 나누다 나누었습니다. 쓰다 썼습니다. 쓰다 썼습니다. 예쁘다 예뻤습니다. 예쁘다 예뻤습니다. 늦다 늦었습니다. 늦다 늦었습니다. 믿다 믿었습니다. 믿다 믿었습니다. 기다리다 기다렸습니다. 기다리다 기다렸습니다. 되다 되었습니다. 되다 되었습니다. 쉬다 쉬었습니다. 쉬다 쉬었습니다. There is also a list of irregular predicates which conjugate differently. You will find more information about them in module number 4. When there is a consonant in the patim, then ida becomes iot. When there is a vowel in the patim, then ida becomes yot. 학생이다. 학생이었습니다. 학생이다. 학생이었습니다. 친구이다. 친구였습니다. 친구이다. 친구였습니다. Here are some examples of sentences in the past tense. 어제 뭐 했습니까? What did you do yesterday? 어제 낮에 헬스장에서 운동했습니다. 그리고 저녁에 남동생하고 영화를 봤습니다. Yesterday, I exercised at a health club in the afternoon, and in the evening, I watched a film with my brother. 지난 주말에 친구들하고 만났습니다. 그래서 기분이 좋았습니다. 지난 주말에 친구들하고 만났습니다. 그래서 기분이 좋았습니다. I met with my friends last week. That's why I was in a good mood. 그 사람은 미국 가수였습니까? Was he an American singer? 아니요. 그 사람은 미국 가수가 아니었습니다. 영국 가수였습니다. No, he wasn't. He was a British singer. The ending ko is used to list facts, states, actions, which are expressed by predicates. It is translated as and in English. Ku is attached to the stem of predicates no matter what ending they have. 누나는 예쁩니다. 그리고 성격도 좋습니다. 누나는 예쁩니다. 그리고 성격도 좋습니다. My elder sister is pretty and she has a nice personality. 누나는 예쁘고 성격도 좋습니다. 누나는 예쁘고 성격도 좋습니다. My elder sister is pretty and she has a nice personality. 호랑이는 큽니다. 그리고 쥐는 작습니다. 호랑이는 큽니다. 그리고 쥐는 작습니다. The tiger is big and the mouse is small. 호랑이는 크고 쥐는 작습니다. 호랑이는 크고 쥐는 작습니다. The tiger is big and the mouse is small. Note that in the sentence above, the topic marker 은, 는 is used to emphasize contrast. The ending 고 is also used to list actions in their chronological order. In this case, it corresponds to and then in English. 소미 씨는 이를 닫고 
잠을 잡니다. 수미 씨는 이를 닦고 잠을 잡니다. Sumi brushes her teeth and then goes to sleep. 민수 씨는 어전 8시 10분에 아침을 먹고 8시 반에 집을 나갑니다. 민수 씨는 오전 8시 10분에 아침을 먹고 8시 반에 집을 나갑니다. Minsu has breakfast at 8:10 a.m. and then leaves home at 8:30. The tense indicator is attached only to the last verb in a sentence. 어제 친구하고 잘 놀았습니다. 낮에는 시내를 구경을 많이 하고 저녁에는 노래방에서 K-pop 노래를 했습니다. Yesterday we had a great time with my friends. In the daytime we went sightseeing in the city center and in the evening we sang K-pop songs in a karaoke room. 어제 정말 피곤하고 졸렸습니다. 어제 정말 피곤하고 졸렸습니다. Yesterday I was very tired and felt sleepy. 저는 매일 아침 7시 45분에 일어납니다. 아침을 해서 먹습니다. 8시 50분에 대학교에 옵니다. 대학교의 수업이 9시부터 12시까지 있습니다. 12시 30분에 반 친구와 점심을 먹습니다. 그 후에 도서관에 갑니다. 거기에서 오후 1시부터 공부하고 책을 읽습니다. 저녁 5시부터 6시까지 친구들하고 배구합니다. 7시 반에 우리는 저녁을 먹고 이야기도 많이 합니다. 가끔 술을 마십니다. 밤 9시에 기숙사에 들어갑니다. 9시 30분에 부모님에게 전화합니다. 11시 반에 잠을 잡니다. 재민 씨, 어제 뭘 했습니까? 오후에는 친구를 만났습니다. 친구하고 홍대에서 잘 놀았습니다. 마리아 씨는 뭘 했습니까? 저는 시험을 준비했습니다. 내일 시험이 있습니다. 몇 시에 시험이 있습니까? 오전 10시에 있습니다. 화이팅! 가족 가족 패밀리 부모님 부모님 파렌츠 방학 방학 vacation holiday 학기 학기 semester 신발 신발 shoe shoes 선물 선물 gift present 과일 과일 fruit 야채 야채 vegetables 표, 표, ticket, also ticket, ticket, 
질문. 질문. Question. 연주회. 연주회. Concert. Also, concert. Concert. 학원. 학원. Private Educational Institute. 고향. 고향. Homeland. Hometown. Birthplace. 공원. 공원. Park. 편의점. 편의점. Convenience store. 서점. 서점. Bookstore. 술집. 술집. Bar. 시장. 시장. Market. 진짜. 진짜. Very, truly, really. Also, 정말 has the same meaning. 꼭. 꼭. Surely, certainly, undoubtedly. 조금. 조금. Some, little, few. 아직. 아직. Still, so far, yet. 다음. 다음. Next. 전화가 오다. 전화가 오다. To get a telephone call. Literally, the telephone call comes. 묻다. 묻다. To ask. 물어보다. 물어보다. Is a more polite form, so it is used more frequently. 가르치다. 가르치다. To teach. 주다. 주다. To give. 배우다. 배우다. To learn. 산책하다. 산책하다. To go for a walk. 아름답다. 아름답다. Beautiful. 맞다. 맞다. Correct. Right. 틀리다. 틀리다. Incorrect. Wrong. 부럽다. 부럽다. Literally, to envy. But it's not negative. Used as a response to something. May be translated as you're lucky, I wish I had the same, etc. 나오다. 나오다. To appear, to turn up. 머리를 하다. 머리를 하다. To do one's hair. 약속하다. 약속하다. To promise, to make an appointment. Also, 약속이 있다. 약속이 있다. 쇼핑하다. 쇼핑하다. To do the shopping. 끝나다. 끝나다. To be done, to be finished. 그렇다. 그렇다. The basic meaning is to be so. This word is translated in multiple ways depending on the context. 그래요? 그래요. In formal polite style. 월요일. 월요일. Monday. 화요일. 화요일. Tuesday. 수요일. 수요일. Wednesday. 목요일. 목요일. Thursday. 금요일. 금요일. Friday. 토요일. 토요일. Saturday. 일요일. 일요일. Sunday. The informal polite style of speech is probably the most used style in Korean. Koreans use it in less formal situations where politeness is required. That is, with some family members, with older friends, unless they let you speak with them informally, with close acquaintances, with colleagues, in class with a teacher or a professor, with people whom you don't know well, or say for the first time in informal situations, etc. The informal polite style of speech has only one ending for declarative, interrogative, imperative, and prepositive styles. Therefore, 
The style of the sentence can be interpreted only from the situation and from the intonation. The endings are you, or you, or yo you are attached to the stem of predicates. The choice of the ending is determined by the vowel harmony rule about which we have already learned in the previous module. A predicate with a or u in the stem is followed by the ending a yu. Kada, kayu. Kada, kayu. Anta, anjayu. Anta, anjayu. Dota, duayu. Dota, duayu. Uda, wayu. Uda, wayu. Other predicates, apart from hada predicates, are followed by the ending o yu. Mokta, mogoyu. Mokta, mogoyu. 보내다, 보내요. 보내다, 보내요. 늦다, 늦어요. 늦다, 늦어요. 믿다, 믿어요. 믿다, 믿어요. 쉬다, 쉬어요. 쉬다, 쉬어요. 주다. 좋아요. 주다. 좋아요. 마시다. 마셔요. 마시다. 마셔요. 되다. 돼요. 되다. 돼요. 쓰다. 써요. 쓰다. 써요. 예쁘다. 예뻐요. 예쁘다. 예뻐요. With predicates ending in hada, yo yu is used. The form ha yo yu is shortened to he yu, and in modern Korean, this short form is more commonly adopted. 전화하다, 전화해요. 전화하다, 전화해요. 이야기하다, 이야기해요. 이야기하다, 이야기해요. The verb-like form 이다 changes to 이에요 or to 예요. 이에요 is attached to nouns ending in a consonant and 예요 is attached to nouns ending in a vowel. 옷, 옷이에요. 옷, 옷이에요. 책. 책이에요. 책, 책이에요. 영화, 영화예요. 영화, 영화예요. 잡지, 잡지예요. 잡지, 잡지예요. The past tense in informal polite style speech is formed by attaching at or soyo to the stem of a predicate. 가요, 갔어요. 가요, 갔어요. 봐요, 봤어요. 봐요, 봤어요. 많아요, 많았어요. 많아요, 많았어요. 먹어요, 먹었어요. 먹어요, 먹었어요. 커요, 컸어요. 커요, 컸어요. 돼요, 됐어요. 돼요, 됐어요. Here are some examples of sentences in the informal polite style. 책을 뭐래요? What are you doing now? 책을 읽어요. I'm reading a book. 린다 씨는 운동 선수예요? Is Linda an athlete? 아니요. 린다 씨는 운동 선수가 아니에요. 경찰관이에요. No, she's not an athlete. She's a police officer. Note that in this sentence, 아니요 
is translated as no and anieo is a negative form of ida anida. 오늘 저녁을 같이 먹어요. Let's eat supper together today. 네, 좋아요. It's a good idea. Literally, yes, it's good. 어디에 가요? Where are you going? 식당에 가요. I'm going to the cafeteria. 숙제를 하고 저녁에 친구하고 만나요. 숙제를 하고 저녁에 친구하고 만나요. I do my homework and in the evening I meet with my friends. 어제 일을 진짜 열심히 했어요. 그래서 피곤했어요. 어제 일을 진짜 열심히 했어요. 그래서 피곤했어요. I worked very hard yesterday. That's why I was tired. Even though the informal polite style of speech has only one ending for declarative, interrogative, imperative, and propositive styles, for comments and requests, it's better to use the ending 의세요, which is a more polite way to ask someone to do something. The ending 의세요 is attached to a verb stem if it ends in a consonant, and the ending 세요 is attached to vowels. 커피를 한잔 주세요. 커피를 한잔 주세요. One cup of coffee, please. Literally, give me one cup of coffee, please. 그 영화는 정말 재미있어요. 꼭 보세요. 그 영화는 정말 재미있어요. 꼭 보세요. This film is very interesting. You should certainly watch it. 문을 좀 닫으세요. 문을 좀 닫으세요. Please close the door. Tom is used when asking for something politely. The ending 을 것이다 is used to say or speak about things that will probably happen in the future or about things that a speaker will probably do in the future. In this regard, the ending 을 것이다 is not used when talking about fixed plans. The ending 을 것이다 is attached to the stem of a predicate if it ends in a consonant other than 을 and 을 것이다 is attached to the verb stem if it ends in a vowel or 을 먹다 먹을 것이에요 먹다, 먹을 것이에요. 가다, 갈 것이에요. 가다, 갈 것이에요. 만들다, 만들 것이에요. 만들다, 만들 것이에요. 모레 친구와 공원에서 산책할 것입니다. 모레 친구와 공원에서 산책할 것입니다. The day after tomorrow, I will go for a walk with my friend in the park. 내일 고향에 갈 것이에요. 내일 고향에 갈 것이에요. I will go home tomorrow. Literally, I will go to my homeland, hometown tomorrow. The 것 part in 을 것이다 is often shortened to 거 in everyday speech. 방학에 가족이랑 프랑스에 갈 거예요. 방학에 가족이랑 프랑스에 갈 거예요. For the holidays, I will go to France with my family. 내일 뭘할 거예요? What will you do tomorrow? 반 친구하고 시내를 구경할 거예요. I will visit the city centre with my classmates. Literally, I will go sightseeing in the city centre with my classmates. The grammar 으로 가다 오다 consists of two clauses. In the first clause, a speaker expresses the intention that he or she is going to perform, and in the second clause, a speaker tells where he or she goes to perform this action. If the verb in the first clause ends in a consonant other than 리얼, then 으로 가다 오다 
is used. If a verb ends in a vowel or riol, ro kada uda is attached. The tense should be expressed only in the second clause. Mokta. Moguro kayo. Moguro wayo. Kombuhada. Kombuharo kayo. Kombuharo wayo. Mandulda. Mandulo kayo. Mandulo wayo. Odie kayo. Where are you going? 시험을 준비하러 도서관에 가요. I'm going to the library to prepare for an exam. 지난 주말에 옷과 신발을 사러 백화점에 갔어요. 지난 주말에 옷과 신발을 사러 백화점에 갔어요. Last weekend, I went to the department store to buy clothes and shoes. 내일 우리 집에 놀러 와요. 내일 우리 집에 놀러 와요. Come to my place to hang out tomorrow. 수미 씨는 운동하러 우리와 함께 운동장에 갈 거예요. 수미 씨는 운동하러 우리와 함께 운동장에 갈 거예요. Sumi is going to the stadium with us to exercise. To express years, names of month and days of month, Sinekarian numbers are used. When referring to a year, the word nyan, which comes from the Chinese character, is used. 2020년 2020년 1975년 1975년 저는 1998년에 태어났어요. 저는 1998년에 태어났어요. I was born in 1998. For Koreans, it's very important to know someone's age so they know how to address a person. Therefore, in Korean culture, it's not rude to ask for someone's age. In case it's clear that a person is older, a speaker won't ask anything. But if it's not clear, the question 명령생이세요? is used. 생 is a representation of the Chinese character, which stands for to be born, to live, life, and the ending seyo is a polite way to ask something. It is common to reply to this question using only two last numbers of the year you were born. 몇 년생이세요? Which year you were born in? 98년생이에요. I was born in 1998. 내년, next year. 내년에 한국에 갈 거예요. 내년에 한국에 갈 거예요. I will go to Korea next year. 올해, this year. 올해에 일이 진짜 많아요. 올해에 일이 진짜 많아요. There is really a lot of work this year. 작년, last year. 저는 작년부터 중국어를 배워요. 저는 작년부터 중국어를 배워요. I have been learning Chinese since last year. Literally, I learned Chinese since last year. When referring to a specific month, a Sinekarian number and the word 월, which comes from the Chinese character, are combined. 1월 1월 January 2월 2월 February 3월 3월 March 4월 4월 April 5월 5월 May 6월 6월 June 7월 7월 July 8월 8월 August 9월 9월 September 10월 10월 October 11월 11월 November 
12월 12월 December 마리아 씨는 6월에 생일이 있어요. 마리아 씨는 6월에 생일이 있어요. Mary's birthday is in June. Literally, Maria has a birthday in June. 9월에 학기가 시작해요. 9월에 학기가 시작해요. The semester starts in September. 다음 달 Next month. 다음 달에 K-POP 콘서트에 갈 거예요. 다음 달에 K-POP 콘서트에 갈 거예요. I will go to a K-POP concert next month. 이번 달 This month. 이번 달에 아침에도 저녁에도 운동을 해요. 이번 달에 아침에도 저녁에도 운동을 해요. This month, I'm exercising both in the morning and in the evening. 지난 달, last month. 지난 달에 부모님을 보러 고향에 갔어요. 지난 달에 부모님을 보러 고향에 갔어요. Last month, I went to my hometown to see my parents. To ask what's the day today? The question 오늘 몇월 며칠이에요? is used. 오늘 몇월 며칠이에요? What's the day today? 오늘 10월 27일이에요. Today is the 27th of October. In Korean, the date is written starting from a year. 2018년 9월 24일 주일 week 일주일 one week 이주일 two weeks 삼주일 three weeks 다음 주 next week 다음 주에 시간이 있어요? Do you have time next week? 네, 있어요. Yes, I do. 그럼 토요일에 친구들하고 같이 만나요. Then let's meet together with our friends on Saturday. 이번 주, this week. 이번 주 금요일에 시험이 있어요. 그래서 월요일부터 목요일까지 열심히 공부할 거예요. 이번 주 금요일에 시험이 있어요. 그래서 월요일부터 목요일까지 열심히 공부할 거예요. I have an exam on Friday. Therefore, I will be studying hard from Monday till Thursday. 지난 주, last week. 지난 주에 편지를 받으러 우체국에 갔어요. 지난 주에 편지를 받으러 우체국에 갔어요. Last week, I went to the post office to get a letter. 평일, weekdays. 주말, weekends. 평일에는 7시 일어나고 주말에는 10시 일어나요. 평일에는 7시에 일어나고 주말에는 10시에 일어나요. On weekdays, I wake up at 7 a.m. and on weekends, I wake up at 10 a.m. There are two ways of expressing negatives in the Korean language. Today, we will talk about one of them. This is the short negative expressed as an, pi, da, where p stands for a predicate, and the long negative expressed as pi, ji, an, pa. These are basically the same in their meaning. An, pi, da, and pi, ji, an, pa expresses that the situation is controlled by the speaker and he or she intentionally doesn't perform an action. An pi da and pi ji an pa are used only in declarative and interrogative sentences. An is attached to the beginning of a predicate and ji an pa is attached to the stem of a predicate no matter what the ending is. Verbs and adjectives. 먹다, 안 먹어요. 먹지 않아요. 먹다. 안 먹어요. 먹지 않아요. Verbs with 하다. Verbs with 하다 are negated by placing 안 between the noun and the predicate 하다. 
공부하다. 공부를 안 해요. 공부하지 않아요. 공부하다. 공부를 안 해요. 공부하지 않아요. Adjectives with 하다. 따뜻하다. 안 따뜻해요. 따뜻하지 않아요. 따뜻하다. 안 따뜻해요. 따뜻하지 않아요. Even though 좋아하다 and 싫어하다 are verbs in a grammatical sense, they are not like other verbs made by placing the ending 하다 after a noun. There are no such nouns as 좋아 and 싫어, and that is why these verbs are negated differently. 좋아하다 안 좋아해요 좋아하지 않아요 싫어하다 안 싫어해요 싫어하지 않아요 Whether to use 안 피타 or 피지 않다 is determined by the style. The first one tends to be more colloquial, whereas the latter is more formal. There is a tendency, however, to use long predicates with the form pi tian ta. For example, the word arumdatta, beautiful, has three syllables. Ta is not included. So a negative form of this word will be arumdatti anayo, not anarumdawayo. 점심을 먹었어요? Have you had lunch? 아니요, 안 먹었어요. No, I haven't. 그럼 저 식당에서 점심을 같이 먹어요. Then let's have lunch in that cafeteria over there together. 그 영화를 봤어요? Have you seen this film? 아니요, 아직 안 봤어요. No, I haven't seen it yet. 가방이 무겁지 않아요? Isn't your bag heavy? 아니요, 무겁지 않아요. No, it isn't. Ege and hante are almost the same particles which are attached to animate nouns. They are used when conveying, giving, or sending something to someone. Verbs that are usually used with ege and hante are chuda, chuda, to give, butta, butta, to ask, karichida, karichida, to teach, boneda. 보내다 to send 전화하다 전화하다 to call 쓰다 쓰다 to write 말하다 말하다 to speak etc. The only difference between the two particles is that 한테 is more colloquial. 저는 어제 치민 씨에게 선물을 주었어요. 저는 어제 재민 씨에게 선물을 주었어요. I gave Jimin a present yesterday. 지난 주말에 일본 친구한테 편지를 보냈어요. 지난 주말에 일본 친구한테 편지를 보냈어요. Last weekend, I sent a letter to my Japanese friend. By attaching 서 to either of these particles, we create the opposite meaning. 에게서 and 한테서 correspond to from in English. 오늘 선생님에게서 전화가 왔어요. 오늘 선생님에게서 전화가 왔어요. The teacher called today. Literally, a phone call came from the teacher today. 저는 언니한테서 편지를 받았어요. I got a letter from my elder sister. Somewhat confusingly, the part 서 is frequently dropped in colloquial speech. Maria씨, 다음 주 일요일에 뭐할 거예요? 
K-POP 콘서트를 보러 갈 거예요. 그래요? 누구의 콘서트예요? 거기는 가수들이 많이 나올 거예요. 부러워요. 다음에 표를 사고 같이 가요. 오늘 몇월 며칠이에요? 10월 25일이에요. 오늘 재민씨의 생일 아니에요? 네, 맞아요. 재민씨에게 어떤 선물을 줄 거예요? 케이크예요. 지금 케이크를 사러 갈 거예요. 날씨 날씨 weather 계절 계절 season 겨울 겨울 winter 봄봄 봄. spring 여름 여름 summer 가을 가을 autumn 하늘 하늘 sky 춥다 춥다 cold 따뜻하다 따뜻하다 warm 시원하다 시원하다 refreshing 서늘하다 서늘하다 cool chilly 막다 clear sunny 흐리다 흐리다 cloudy 비가 오다 비가 내리다 비가 오다 비가 내리다 to rain 비가 그치다 비가 그치다 to stop raining 눈이 오다 눈이 내리다 눈이 오다 눈이 내리다 to snow 눈이 그치다 눈이 그치다. To stop snowing. 바람이 불다. 바람이 불다. To blow. 꽃이 피다. 꽃이 피다. Blossom. Literally, a flower blows or flowers blow. 벚꽃이 피다. 벚꽃이 피다. Cherry blossom. 축제. 축제 festival 단풍 단풍 autumn foliage 소풍 가다 소풍 가다 to go on a picnic 바다 바다 the sea 달리기 하다 달리기 하다 to go running 눈싸움 하다 눈싸움 하다 To play at snowballs. 벌써. 벌써. 이미. 이미. These two words are almost synonyms that are translated in English as already. However, 벌써 has a slight different nuance, already as sooner than expected. 이제. 이제. Now, from this moment on, anymore. 아쉽게도 아쉽게도 unfortunately 멋있다 멋지다 멋있다 멋지다 wonderful nice cool stylish 바쁘다 바쁘다 busy 아프다 아프다 to be ill to be hurt 다르다 다르다 different another 지저분하다 지저분하다 dirty messy 깨끗하다 깨끗하다 to be clean 떠들다 떠들다 noisy 맛있다 
맛있다. Tasty. 맛없다. 맛없다. Tasteless. 청소하다. 청소하다. To clean. 다이어트를 하다. 다이어트를 하다. To be on a diet. 음식. 음식. Food. 어떻다. 어떻다. How. 인코리안, there are several types of irregular predicates. They are called irregular because sometimes they are conjugated differently. Let's have a look at some of them. Pew predicates are conjugated regularly if they are followed by suffixes that start with a consonant. But if a predicate ends in pew and it is followed by a suffix starting with a vowel, then pew is changed to u or u according to the vowel harmony rule. When u meets suffixes starting with u, the latter is dropped and replaced by u. 춥다 추워요 추웠어요 추울 거예요 춥고 춥다 추워요 추웠어요 추울 거예요 춥고 무겁다 무거워요 무거웠어요 무거울 거예요 무겁고 무겁다 무거워요 무거웠어요 무거울 거예요 무겁고 덥다 더워요 더웠어요 더울 거예요 덥고 덥다 더워요 더웠어요 더울 거예요. 덥고. 돕다. 도와요. 도왔어요. But. 도울 거예요. 돕고. 돕다. 도와요. 도왔어요. 도울 거예요. 돕고. 꼽다. 고와요. 고왔어요. But 고울 거예요. 곱고. 곱다. 고와요. 고왔어요. 고울 거예요. 곱고. However, this rule doesn't apply to all predicates that end in pub. 입다, 잡다, 좁다 are conjugated regularly. For a predicate ending in u, if the vowel in the preceding syllable is a and if a suffix starting with a o is attached to the stem, then u changes to a. 바쁘다, 바빠요, 바빠서요, 바쁠 거예요, 바쁘고. 바쁘다, 바빠요. 바빴어요. 바쁠 거예요. 바쁘고. 아프다. 아파요. 아팠어요. 아플 거예요. 아프고. 아프다. 아파요. 아팠어요. 아플 거예요. 아프고. If the stem of a predicate ends in the the changes to double ryeol, to which a suffix starting with a vowel a o is attached according to the vowel harmony rule. 다르다, 달라요, 달랐어요, 다를 거예요, 다르고. 다르다, 달라요, 달랐어요, 다를 거예요, 다르고. 모르다, 몰라요, 몰랐어요, 모를 거예요, 모르고. 모르다, 몰라요, 
몰랐어요. 모를 거예요. 모르고. 부르다. 불러요. 불렀어요. 부를 거예요. 부르고. 부르다. 불러요. 불렀어요. 부를 거예요. 부르고. 기르다. 길러요. 길렀어요. 기를 거예요. 기르고. 기르다. 길러요. 길렀어요. 기를 거예요. 기르고. Some predicates that end in t i g u t change t i g u t to real when suffixes starting with vowels are attached to the stem. 뜯다, 들어요, 들었어요, 들을 거예요, 듣고. 뜯다, 들어요, 들었어요, 들을 거예요, 듣고. 걷다. 걸어요. 걸었어요. 걸을 거예요. 걷고. 걷다. 걸어요. 걸었어요. 걸을 거예요. 걷고. 묻다. 물어요. 물었어요. 물을 거예요. 묻고. 묻다. 물어요. 물었어요. 물을 거예요. 묻고. 따다, 받다, and 믿다 conjugate regularly even though they end in t i g u t The Korean language uses many causal connectives. In this video, we will learn about one of them. The causal connective a also is used only in the first clause of a sentence. The main distinction of this causal connective compared with others is that in event or a state in the second clause results naturally from what is revealed in the first clause. Since A also is used only to express the result of a natural consequence. Individual reason based on the opinion of the speaker is not involved. In this regard, we can talk about an objective result reason. Tense indicators occur only in the second clause. The causal connective A also is attached to the stem of a predicate according to vowel harmony rules. Hada changes to hasa, ida changes to yasa when there is a pachim in the noun and to yasa when there is no pachim in the stem. Mannasa, bogasa, kongbu hasa, hakseng yasa, uisa yasa. Mannasa, bogasa. 공부해서, 학생이어서, 의사여서. Note that the causal connective a uh, also is not used in imperative and propositive sentences. 늦게 일어나서 학교에 늦었어요. 늦게 일어나서 학교에 늦었어요. I woke up late, so I was late for school. 운동을 좋아해서 저녁에 달리기를 해요. 운동을 좋아해서 저녁에 달리기를 해요. I like sports, so I run in the evening. 아파서 병원에 갔어요. 아파서 병원에 갔어요. I felt ill, so I went to the hospital. 방이 지저분해서 청소를 했어요. The room was dirty, so I cleaned it. 날씨가 어때요? How is the weather? 하늘이 맑고 따뜻해서 날씨가 좋아요. The sky is clear and it's warm, so the weather is good. When a question starts with the word 왜, why, 
the answer must contain a causal connective. 어제 도서관에 왜안 왔어요? Why didn't you come to the library yesterday? 시간이 없어서 안 갔어요. I didn't have time, so I didn't go there. 아, 어서 is used with expressions of gratitude and apology. 늦어서 죄송합니다. 늦어서 죄송합니다. Sorry for being late. We have already learned that the negative form an tianta is used only in declarative and interrogative sentences. In imperative and prepositive sentences, timalda is used. Timalda is attached to a verb stem no matter what ending it has. Note that ryul is dropped when followed by pilb and siot. Haji masipsiu. 하지 마십시오. Don't do it. The formal polite style of speech in imperative form. 하지 맙시다. 하지 맙시다. Let's not do it. The formal polite style of speech in prepositive form. 하지 마세요. 하지 마세요. Don't do it. The informal polite style of speech in imperative form. 하지 말아요. 하지 말아요. Don't do it or let's not do it. The informal polite style of speech in imperative and prepositive forms. Here are some examples with 지 말다. 교실에서 음악을 듣지 마세요. 교실에서 음악을 듣지 마세요. Don't listen to music in the classroom. 도서관에서 떠들지 마세요. 도서관에서 떠들지 마세요. Don't be noisy in the library. 수업 시간에 핸드폰을 쓰지 마세요. 수업 시간에 핸드폰을 쓰지 마세요. Don't use your phone during class. 기숙사에서 술을 마시지 마세요. 기숙사에서 술을 마시지 마세요. Don't drink alcohol in dormitory. In Korean, expression of tentative suggestion is always accompanied by the ending 을까요? attached to the stem of a suitable predicate. In cases when a verb ends in a consonant, apart from 리얼, 을까요 is used. When a verb ends in a vowel or 리얼, then 을까요 is attached. Tentative suggestion 을까요 is mainly used. When a speaker asks for a listener's opinion about something, when a speaker asks about something that is related to him or her, or about him or her and a listener, then 제가 and 우리가 are used and such sentences may be translated as Shall I? Shall we? 제가 창문을 열까요? 제가 창문을 열까요? Shall I open the window? 우리가 뭘 먹을까요? 우리가 뭘 먹을까요? What shall we eat? When a speaker asks a listener's opinion about something in general, then such sentences can be translated as Do you think? 내일 추울까요? 내일 추울까요? Do you think it will be cold tomorrow? 민수 씨는 아홉 시에 올까요? 민수 씨는 아홉 시에 올까요? Do you think Minsu will come at 9? To suggest making an action together with a listener. Suggestions with 을까요 are informal and therefore cannot be used with elders or social superiors. 우리 공부하러 도서관에 갈까요? 우리 공부하러 도서관에 갈까요? Shall we go to the library to study? 
저녁을 같이 먹을까요? 저녁을 같이 먹을까요? Shall we eat supper together? 우리 언제 만날까요? 우리 언제 만날까요? When shall we meet? 디앤딩네 is used when a speaker expresses an emotional reaction with a degree of surprise. When he or she learns something through his or her own experience, usually at the moment of speech. The is attached to a predicate no matter what the ending is. 이 음식이 정말 맛있네요. 이 음식이 정말 맛있네요. My, this food is really tasty. 밖에 비가 오네요. My, it's raining outside. 벌써 가을이네요. 벌써 가을이네요. My, it's autumn already. 그 여자는 정말 예쁘네요. 그 여자는 정말 예쁘네요. Oh my, that girl is really pretty. 이 책도 읽었네요. 이 책도 읽었네요. Oh my, you read this book too. We have already learned about the future tense made with the ending ul kosta. There is another way to express the future tense in Korean by attaching the suffix get to the stem of a predicate. Get is used to express a speaker's strong will and intention to do something, while ul kosta is used to talk about something that will probably happen in the future. When using get to express a speaker's strong will and intention to perform an action, the sentence should always start with the first person pronoun. Even if it's dropped, it should be implied. 내일부터 다이어트를 하겠어요. 내일부터 다이어트를 하겠어요. I'll start my diet tomorrow. 이번 주말까지 하겠습니다. 이번 주말까지 하겠습니다. I will do it by this weekend. 저는 지하철역 앞에서 기다리겠어요. 저는 지하철역 앞에서 기다리겠어요. I'll be waiting in front of the subway station. 그 책을 이제 읽지 않겠어요. 그 책을 이제 읽지 않겠어요. I won't read this book anymore. Jimin Shi, 어느 계절을 좋아해요? 저는 봄을 좋아해요. 왜요? 봄에 날씨가 따뜻하고 하늘이 맑고 벚꽃도 펴서 좋아요. 마리아 씨는 어느 계절이 좋아요? 저는 겨울이 좋아요. 눈이 와서 정말 멋있어요. Nice, 휴가, 휴가, break, vacation, holiday. 
used more when speaking about people who work or about men in the army, unlike panghak, which is used to speak about students. Sukso. Sukso. A place where you stay when you leave home. It can be a hotel, a motel, etc. Kitayok. Kitayok. Train station. Kita. Kita. Train. Kitaru tada. Kitaru tada. To take a train. Konghang. Konghang. Airport. Bihengi. Bihengi. Plane. Bihengi ru tada. Bihengi ru tada. To take a plane. Bihengi pyo. Bihengi pyo. Plane ticket. Weguk. Weguk. Foreign country. Weguko. Weguko. Foreign language. Wegugin. Wegugin. Foreigner. Pija. Pija. Visa. Mire. Mire. The future. Hyunje. Hyunje. The present. Kwago. Kwago. The past. Pamse durok. Pamse durok. All night. 하루 종일 하루 종일 all day 아침 내내 아침 내내 all morning 저녁 내내 저녁 내내 all evening 빨리 빨리 quickly 그냥 그냥 just simply 계획을 세우다 계획을 세우다. To make a plan. 사진을 찍다. 사진을 찍다. To take a photo or photos. 등산하다. 등산하다. To climb a mountain. 갔다 오다. 갔다 오다. Literally, to go and come back. 여행 가다. 여행 가다. To travel. 예약하다. 예약하다. To make a reservation. 짐을 싸다. 짐을 싸다. To pack a bag. 도착하다. 도착하다. To arrive. 출발하다. 출발하다. To depart. To leave. 발표. 발표. Presentation. 간식 간식 snack literally light food 머리를 자르다 머리를 자르다 to cut hair 살을 빼다 살을 빼다 to lose weight 살이 찌다 살이 찌다 to put on weight 시험에 떨어지다 시험에 떨어지다 to fail in exam. 끝내다. 끝내다. To finish. The grammatical structure, 고싶다, 고싶어하다, expresses a wish or a desire to do something. It is attached to the verb stem. The grammatical structure 고싶다, 고싶어하다 is translated in English as want to. Note that the words 싶다, 싶어하다 themselves are not used in Korean as independent words and do not have the meaning to want. 고싶다 is used only if the subject of the sentence is the first or second person pronoun. 내년에 어디에 가고 싶어요? Where do you want to go next year? 부산에 가고 싶어요. I want to go to Busan. 머리를 자르고 싶어요. 머리를 자르고 싶어요. 
I want to cut my hair. 그 영화를 보고 싶지 않아요. 그 영화를 보고 싶지 않아요. I don't want to watch that film. 부모님을 보고 싶어요. 부모님을 보고 싶어요. I want to see my parents. I miss my parents. 저는 미래에 의사가 되고 싶어요. 저는 미래에 의사가 되고 싶어요. I want to become a doctor in the future. Note that 되다 is used with a noun which is followed by the subject particle 이가 and is translated as become. 되다 is used to express that something has been changed. 시간이 없어서 일을 빨리 끝내고 싶어요. 시간이 없어서 일을 빨리 끝내고 싶어요. I want to finish my work quickly as there is no time. With the third person pronoun, 보고 싶어하다 is used. 다음 주에 친구와 같이 등산하고 싶어해요. 다음 주에 친구와 같이 등산하고 싶어해요. Next week, she wants to climb a mountain with friends. 생일 파티를 하고 싶어해요. 생일 파티를 하고 싶어해요. He wants to have a birthday party. 스시를 먹고 싶어해요. 스시를 먹고 싶어해요. They want to eat sushi. The state of being hungry, thirsty, sleepy is expressed respectively with 배고프다. 배고프다. 목이 마르다. 목이 마르다. 졸리다. 졸리다. So you don't need to say 먹고 싶어요, 마시고 싶어요, and 자고 싶어요. 저는 배고파요. 밥을 먹을까요? 저는 배고파요. 밥을 먹을까요? I'm hungry. Shall we eat? 날씨가 덥고 운동도 많이 해서 목이 아주 말라요. 날씨가 덥고 운동도 많이 해서 목이 아주 말라요. It's hot and also I have trained a lot, so I'm thirsty. 어제 밤새도록 발표를 준비했어요. 그래서 지금 진짜 졸려요. 어제 밤새도록 발표를 준비했어요. 그래서 지금 진짜 졸려요. I spent the whole of last night preparing the presentation. That's why I feel very sleepy now. The intentive connective 의뢰고 하다 expresses the intention of a speaker to do something. It has two clauses. The first one ends in 의뢰고 and a speaker states an action that he or she is about to perform. And in the second part, a speaker expresses what steps he or she is undertaking to perform the action that has been stated in the first clause. You have probably noticed that 의뢰고 하다 shares some similarities with Uro kada uda. Indeed, they both express an intention to do something. However, uro kada uda is used only with verbs of motion, while with uryogo hada in the second clause, instead of hada, any verbs can be used. Furthermore, uryogo hada is not used in imperative sentences, unlike uro kada uda. The ending uryogo is attached to a verb stem. If a verb stem ends in a consonant, uryogo is used. If it ends in a vowel, ryogo is used. 여름 휴가는 어디에 여행 가려고 해요? Where are you going to travel to on summer vacation? 이탈리아에 여행 가려고 해요. I'm going to Italy. 살을 빼려고 운동을 매일 해요. 살을 빼려고 운동을 매일 해요. I do sports every day to lose weight. 등산하려고 간식을 준비했어요. 등산하려고 간식을 준비했어요. 
I prepared some snack to climb the mountain. 여행 가려고 비자를 만들고 비행기표를 샀어요. 여행 가려고 비자를 만들고 비행기표를 샀어요. I made a visa and bought a flight ticket to travel. 시험에 떨어지지 않으려고 공부를 열심히 했어요. 시험에 떨어지지 않으려고 공부를 열심히 했어요. I studied hard not to fail the exam. The hada part in 의료고 하다 can be omitted in everyday speech. 지금 뭐 해요? What are you doing now? 집을 나가려고요. I'm about to leave home. The conditional connective 의면 expresses a condition translated in English as if or when. 의면 is attached to the stem of a predicate. If the stem ends in a consonant other than 리얼, 의면 is attached. If it ends in a vowel or 리얼, 면 is attached. 질문이 있으면 물어보세요. 질문이 있으면 물어보세요. Ask if you have a question. 오늘 저녁에 날씨가 좋으면 한강에 가요. 오늘 저녁에 날씨가 좋으면 한강에 가요. If the weather is good this evening, let's go to the river Han. 비가 그치지 않으면 하루 종일 그냥 집에 있을 거예요. 비가 그치지 않으면 하루 종일 그냥 집에 있을 거예요. If the rain doesn't stop, I will just stay at home for the whole day. 봄이 오면 꽃이 핍니다. 봄이 오면 꽃이 핍니다. When spring comes, the flowers are in blossom. 남자친구에게 전화가 오면 기뻐요. When I get a telephone call from my boyfriend, I feel happy. 가을이 되면 한국인들은 단풍을 보려고 등산해요. 가을이 되면 한국인들은 단풍을 보려고 등산해요. Koreans climb mountains to look at foliage when autumn comes. Jemin 씨, 이번 방학에 어느 나라에 여행 가고 싶어요? 저는 베트남으로 여행 가고 싶어요. 누구하고 여행 가고 싶어요? 가족과 같이 가고 싶어요. 비행기 표를 이미 샀어요? 아니요. 아직 안 샀어요. 다음 달에 사려고 해요. 마리아 씨는 이번 방학에 어디에 여행 가고 싶어요? 저는 돈을 모으면 일본에 가고 싶어요. Computer game hada. Computer game hada. To play computer games. 수영하다. 수영하다. To swim. 야구하다. 야구하다. To play baseball. 농구하다. 농구하다. To play basketball. 축구하다. 축구하다. To play football. 요가하다. 요가하다. To do yoga. 테니스를 치다. 테니스를 치다. To play tennis. 배드민턴을 치다. 배드민턴을 치다. To play badminton. 탁구를 치다. 탁구를 치다. To play table tennis. 스키를 타다. 스키를 타다. To ski. 
스케이트를 타다. 스케이트를 타다. To skate. 자전거를 타다. 자전거를 타다. To ride a bicycle. 오토바이를 타다. 오토바이를 타다. To ride a motorbike. 피아노를 치다. 피아노를 치다. To play the piano. 기타를 치다. 기타를 치다. To play the guitar. 드럼을 치다. 드럼을 치다. To play the drums. 바이올린 켜다. 바이올린을 켜다. To play the violin. 플루트를 불다. 플루트를 불다. To play the flute. 맛집. 맛집. Place where famous and delicious food is served. Must eat place. 음식을 만들다. To make, prepare food. 독서하다. 독서하다. To read books. 연극을 보다. 연극을 보다. To watch a play. 잘하다. 잘하다. To be good at, to excel. 이상하다. 이상하다. Unusual, peculiar, weird. 사귀다. 사귀다. To date or to make friends with someone. 머리카락. 머리카락. Hair. 품질. 품질. Quality. 요즘. 요즘. Lately, these days. 혼자. 혼자. Alone. 슬프다. 슬프다. Sad. 천천히. 천천히. Slowly. 귀엽다. 귀엽다. Endearing, sweet, funny, cute, pretty. 불편하다. 불편하다. Inconvenient. 일찍. Early. 늦게. Late. 빠르다. Fast. 느리다. Slow. 넓다. Wide. Spacious. 좁다. Narrow. 쉽다. Easy. 어렵다. Difficult. 뜨겁다. Hot. About an object. 차갑다. Cold. About an object. 짧다. Short. 길다. Long. We have already learned that the word order in the Korean language is S O V, where the verb stands for the predicate, which is represented by verbs, adjectives, and the copula. The predicate is always placed at the end of the sentence. But you may ask, isn't it possible to use both an adjective and a verb in a sentence? The answer is yes, it is possible. Let's see how it works. If we say, 그 여자는 예뻐요. 그 여자는 예뻐요. The girl is pretty. 예뻐요. Here is an adjective that plays a role of a predicate. In a sentence, the pretty girl reads a lot of books. Read in Korean is a predicate which is placed at the end of the sentence. To say, the pretty girl reads a lot of books, we need to place the word pretty before the word girl, just as in English. To do so, we add the modifier un to the stem of an adjective and place the combination before the noun. The ending un is used when a stem ends in a consonant and the ending n is attached to a vowel. 그 예쁜 여자는 책을 많이 읽어요. 그 예쁜 여자는 책을 많이 읽어요. Literally, this sentence says, being pretty, the girl, reads a lot of books. 
But here and later on, we will translate modified adjectives placed before a noun closer to English. Lin is used with adjectives and the copula only and expresses a present or ongoing state. Adjectives that end in itta or in opta, that is, chemitta, chemiopta, bashta, etc., are not modified like other adjectives. We will talk about them in our next video. Here are some examples with the modifier un. I want to live in a clean and spacious room. What kind of guy do you wish to date? I wish to date a clever and stylish guy. I don't buy cheap clothes because the quality of it isn't good. 다른 볼펜이 있어요? 다른 볼펜이 있어요? Do you have another pen? 어제 회사원인 박은지가 늦게까지 일했어요. The office worker Park and Ji worked till late yesterday. When the stem ends in piup, piup changes to u. 귀여운 강아지네요. 이름이 뭐예요? 귀여운 강아지네요. 이름이 뭐예요? What a cute puppy. What's his name? 저는 차가운 커피를 마시고 싶어요. 저는 차가운 커피를 마시고 싶어요. I want to drink cold coffee. 그리고 추운 날씨에 항상 졸려요. 그리고 추운 날씨에 항상 졸려요. I'm always sleepy in cloudy and cold weather. When the stem of an adjective ends in ryeol, then ryeol is dropped. 긴 머리카락이 불편해요. 긴 머리카락이 불편해요. It's inconvenient to have long hair. 오늘 진짜 힘든 날이에요. 오늘 진짜 힘든 날이에요. Today is a very hard day. 어떻다 becomes 어떤, what kind of, if modified. It is used to talk about a feature or a trait of something or of someone. 어떤 영화를 좋아해요? What kind of films do you like? 다큐멘터리를 좋아해요. I like documentaries. 수민 씨의 언니는 어떤 사람이에요? What kind of person is Sumi's elder sister? 좋은 사람이에요. She's a good person. To many Korean learners, 어떤 may seem similar to 무슨, so let's see what is the difference between them. 무슨 is a modified form of the noun 뭐, what, what, and is also translated as what in English. That is, both are translated alike. However, 무슨 should always precede a noun in the sentence. 무슨 말이에요? 무슨 말이에요? What do you mean? Literally, what is the word? 요즘 무슨 책을 읽어요? What book are you reading these days? 채식주의자를 읽어요. I'm reading The Vegetarian. 오늘 무슨 요일이에요? What day of the week is it today? 오늘 목요일이에요. Today is Thursday. The nominal form nin kot is attached to a verb stem. The nominal form changes a verb into a noun as a sort of a noun phrase. In English, it corresponds to the ending ing. Verbs in a nominal form function as the subject or object of a sentence. The nominal form nin kot consists of two parts. The first part nin is a verb modifier 
that expresses an action in the present tense. It is similar to the adjective modifier about which we learned earlier, but it is used only with verbs. Nun is attached to all verbs, no matter what ending they have. 비가 오는 날을 좋아해요. 비가 오는 날을 좋아해요. I like rainy days. Literally, I like days that are rainy. 제가 좋아하는 영화는 타이타닉이에요. 제가 좋아하는 영화는 타이타닉이에요. My favorite film is Titanic. 제 취미는 사진을 찍는 거예요. 제 취미는 사진을 찍는 거예요. My hobby is taking photos. 오늘 제 생일이어서 맛있는 음식을 많이 먹어요. 오늘 제 생일이어서 맛있는 음식을 많이 먹어요. It's my birthday today, so let's eat lots of tasty food. 어제 재미있는 책을 읽었어요. 어제 재미있는 책을 읽었어요. I read an interesting book yesterday. As for the second part of the nominal form, we have already been acquainted with the word cut, and here it can be best translated as act, fact. The whole nominal form literally means the fact that someone is doing, the fact that someone does. There are a lot of nominal forms in the Korean language, but this one is used most often in colloquial speech. 우리 누나는 한국 음식을 요리하는 것을 잘해요. 우리 누나는 한국 음식을 요리하는 것을 잘해요. My elder sister is good at cooking Korean food. 한국어를 공부하는 것이 어려워요. 한국어를 공부하는 것이 어려워요. It's hard to study Korean. 영화를 보러 가는 게 어때요? 영화를 보러 가는 게 어때요? How about going to watch a film? 저는 피아노를 치는 것을 좋아해요. 저는 피아노 치는 것을 좋아해요. I like playing the piano. Note that 좋아하다 always goes with the object particle 을를 and 좋다 always goes with the subject particle 이가. The same occurs with 싫어하다 and 싫다. 등산하는 것이 좋아요. 등산하는 것이 좋아요. The idea of climbing the mountain is good. 테니스를 치는 것을 좋아해요. 테니스를 치는 것을 좋아해요. I like to play tennis. 자전거를 타는 것을 싫어해요. 자전거를 타는 것을 싫어해요. I dislike riding a bike. 일찍 일어나는 것이 싫어요. 일찍 일어나는 것이 싫어요. The idea of getting up early is horrible. When a verb ends in real, then real is dropped. 혼자 사는 것이 이상해요. 혼자 사는 것이 이상해요. It's strange to live alone. 친구랑 노는 것을 좋아해요. 친구랑 노는 것을 좋아해요. I like to hang out with my friends. You have probably noticed by now that all predicates ending in real are conjugated differently if anything is attached to them. Let's see in the table below how they are conjugated. If an ending starting with a, o is attached to the stem of a predicate, then the stem doesn't change. 살아요. 살아요. 만들어요. 만들어요. 길어요. 길어요. If the ending has real at the beginning, then real in the stem is attached to real in the ending and it becomes double. 살로. 살려고. 살러. 살려고. 만들로. 만들려고. 만들러. 만들려고. Real at the end of a stem is dropped when attached to an ending that starts with nien, piot, or siot. 사는. 
사네요. 삽니다. 삽시다. 사십시오. 사는 사네요. 삽니다. 삽시다. 사십시오. 만드는 만드네요. 만듭니다. 만듭시다. 만드십시오. 만드는 만드네요. 만듭니다. 만듭시다. 만드십시오. 긴 기네요. 깁니다. When a predicate with stem ending in real is attached to an ending that starts with any consonant apart from nun, piub, or siot, then nothing is changed in the stem. 살면 살고 살 것이다. 살면 살고 살 것이다. 만들면 만들고 만들 것이다. 만들면 만들고 만들 것이다. 길면 길고 길 것이다. 길면 길고 길 것이다. The particle poda is used to compare something or someone. It is translated in English as more than or rather than. It is attached to a noun which is being compared to something else. 비행기는 기차보다 빨라요. 비행기는 기차보다 빨라요. The plane is faster than the train. 오늘은 어제보다 따뜻해요. 오늘은 어제보다 따뜻해요. Today is warmer than yesterday. 동생은 저보다 키 커요. 동생은 저보다 키 커요. My younger brother is taller than me. 마이클 씨보다 제프 씨가 한국어를 잘해요. 마이클 씨보다 제프 씨가 한국어를 잘해요. Jeff is better at Korean than Michael. The particle 보다 can be accompanied by adverbs 더, more, and 덜, less in the sentence. 지난달보다 이번 달에 일이 더 많아요. 지난달보다 이번 달에 일이 더 많아요. I have more work this month compared to last month. 저는 자전거를 타는 것보다 오토바이를 타는 것이 덜 좋아해요. 저는 자전거를 타는 것보다 오토바이를 타는 것을 덜 좋아해요. I like riding a motorbike less than riding a bike. 저는 부모님하고 사는 것보다 혼자 사는 것이 더 좋아요. 저는 부모님하고 사는 것보다 혼자 사는 것이 더 좋아요. The idea of living alone is better for me than living with my parents. The superlative form is 가장, most. 러시아는 가장 큰 나라예요. 러시아는 가장 큰 나라예요. Russia is the biggest country. 여름에 날씨가 가장 더워요. 여름에 날씨가 가장 더워요. The weather in summer is the hottest. My friend Jisoo is a beautiful and beautiful girl. Jisoo likes to play the guitar. 그리고 등산하는 것도 좋아해요. 등산하면 아름다운 사진을 많이 찍어요. 
그런데 사진을 찍는 것보다 산책하는 것을 더 좋아해요. 지수는 남자친구가 있어요. 지수의 남친은 운동을 잘해요. 그리고 맛있는 음식을 좋아해서 맛집에 자주 가요. 그런데 요리하는 것을 싫어해요. 가족 가족 패밀리 조부모님 조부모님 grandparents 할아버지 할아버지 grandfather 왜 할아버지 왜 할아버지 maternal grandfather 할머니 할머니 grandmother 왜 할머니 왜 할머니 maternal grandmother 남편 남편 husband 아내 아내 wife 아들 아들 son 딸딸 딸. daughter 아이 아이 child 친척 친족 relative 행복하다 행복하다 happy 건강하다 건강하다 healthy 친절하다 친절하다 kind friendly hospitable 불친절하다 불친절하다 unkind unfriendly inhospitable 활발하다 활발하다 active brisk outgoing 조용하다 조용하다 silent calm quiet 착하다 착하다 good nice good hearted 나쁘다 나쁘다 bad 젊다 젊다 young 늙다 늙다 old 웃다 웃다 to laugh 울다 울다 to cry 사랑하다 사랑하다 to love 결혼하다 결혼하다 to marry 이혼하다 이혼하다 to divorce 에 입학하다 에 입학하다 enter university 을를 졸업하다 을를 졸업하다 graduate 먼저 먼저 first 아까 아까 a little while ago a moment ago 이따가 이따가 a little later 나중에 나중에 later 설날 설날 New Year's Day 추석 추석 Korean Thanksgiving Day 졸업식 졸업식 Graduation 결혼식 결혼식 Marriage 장례식 장례식 Funeral 항상 항상 always 자주 자주 often frequently 보통 보통 usually 가끔 가끔 occasionally sometimes 저는 월요일부터 금요일까지 일해요. 
그래서 평일에 항상 바빠요. 저는 월요일부터 금요일까지 일해요. 그래서 평일에 항상 바빠요. I work from Monday till Friday. That's why I'm always busy on weekdays. 저는 일주일에 네번 기타를 쳐요. 기타를 자주 쳐요. 저는 일주일에 네번 기타를 쳐요. 기타를 자주 쳐요. I play the guitar four times a week. I play the guitar often. 저는 시장에 가면 보통 과일을 사요. 저는 시장에 가면 보통 과일을 사요. When I go to the market, I usually buy fruit. 저는 일주일에 두 번쯤 노래를 부르러 노래방에 가요. 노래방에 가끔 가요. 저는 일주일에 두 번쯤 노래를 부르러 노래방에 가요. 노래방에 가끔 가요. I go to karaoke to sing about two times a week. Sometimes I go to karaoke. Adverbs that are used only in negative sentences. 별로 별로 Rarely 거의 거의 Hardly ever Almost 전혀 전혀 Never 저는 운동을 별로 안 해요. 저는 운동을 별로 안 해요. I rarely do sports. 저는 요즘 숙제가 많아서 친구하고 거의 안 만나요. 저는 요즘 숙제가 많아서 친구하고 거의 안 만나요. Recently, I have a lot of homework to do, so I almost don't meet with my friends. 저는 술 맛을 싫어해요. 그래서 술을 전혀 안 마셔요. 저는 술 맛을 싫어해요. 그래서 술을 전혀 안 마셔요. I don't like the taste of alcohol. That's why I never drink it. We have a family, father, mother, and sister. All of them are in the 할머니께서는 연세가 많으셔서 일하지 않으세요. 그렇지만 아주 건강하세요. 여동생과 부모님께서는 대전에 계시고 저와 형은 서울에 살아요. 아버지께서는 회사에 다니시고 어머니께서는 의사 선생님이에요. 여동생은 고등학교에 다녀요. 형은 공무원이고 저는 음대에 다녀요. 특히 especially 고기 고기 meat 생선 생선 fish 반찬 반찬 side dishes served with a meal 음료수 음료수 drink beverage 차 차. Tea. 후식. 후식. Dessert. 한식. 한식. Korean food. 중식. 중식. Chinese food. 
일식. 일식. Japanese food. 양식. 양식. Western food. 맵다. 맵다. Spicy. 짜다. 짜다. Salty. 달다. 달다. Sweet. 시다. 시다. Sour. 쓰다. 쓰다. Bitter. 싱겁다. 싱겁다. Blunt. Insipid. 젓가락. 젓가락. Chopsticks. 숟가락. 숟가락. Spoon. 배부르다. 배부르다. Be full. 몸에 좋다. Good for health. 몸에 해롭다. Bad for health. 상태가 안 좋다. 상태가 안 좋다. To feel bad. Be not in a good condition. 주문하다. 주문하다. To order. 계산하다. 계산하다. To pay. 외식하다. 외식하다. To eat out. 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹겠습니다. Bon appetit. Literally, I'll eat well. 잘 먹었습니다. 잘 먹었습니다. Thank you for the meal. Literally, I ate well. 맛있게 드세요. 맛있게 드세요. Enjoy your meal. The grammatical construction 을레요 is an informal way to ask the listener's opinion or intention about doing something. To make it more formal, the honorific suffix 으시 may precede the construction 을레요. With the honorific suffix 으시, it is used when people are close, but there is still a distance between them on account of age difference or social inequality. However, the best way to sound polite and formal is using the construction 의식했어요. Both 을레요 and 의식했어요 are attached to the stem of a verb and they are not preceded by tense markers. 뭐 먹을래요? 뭐 먹을래요? What do you want to eat? 소풍 같이 갈래요? 소풍 같이 갈래요? Would you like to go on a picnic together? 형님, 커피를 한잔 드실래요? 형님, 커피를 한잔 드실래요? Older brother, would you like to have a cup of coffee? 할머니, 후식을 잡수시겠어요? 할머니, 후식을 잡수시겠어요? Grandmother, would you like to eat dessert? The grammatical construction 을래요? is also used to express the speaker's will or intention to do something. 주말에 뭐 할래요? What do you like to do on weekends? 너무 피곤해서 그냥 쉴래요. I'm so tired, so I want to rest. 뭐 드실래요? What would you like to eat? 저는 불고기를 먹을래요. I want to eat 불고기. We learned previously about the negative grammatical construction an, 지 않다. As you remember, it expresses that the situation is controlled by the speaker and he or she doesn't perform an action intentionally. The negative grammatical construction 못, 지 못하다, on the other hand, indicates that the situation is beyond the speaker's control and he or she is not able to do something. Therefore, 못, 
ichi mo tada can only be used with verbs, with the exception of some fixed expressions, unlike an cian ta, which is used both with verbs and adjectives. Compare. Chumul an choyo. Chumul an choyo. I don't dance. Chumul mo choyo. Chumul mo choyo. I can't dance. My body doesn't move properly. I'm afraid to dance, etc. 매운 음식을 안 먹어요. 매운 음식을 안 먹어요. I don't eat spicy food. 매운 음식을 못 먹어요. 매운 음식을 못 먹어요. I can't eat spicy food. My body doesn't handle it properly. I feel sick after it, etc. 술을 안 마셔요. 술을 안 마셔요. I don't drink alcohol. 술을 못 마셔요. 술을 못 마셔요. I can't drink alcohol. I'm taking medicine. I have an allergy to it, etc. 음식을 만들었어요? Have you prepared any food? 아니요, 시간이 없어서 못 만들었어요. No. I didn't have time, so I didn't prepare it. 괜찮아요? 어디 아픈데 없어요? Are you okay? Does anything hurt? Literally, isn't there anything that hurts? 네, 괜찮아요. 그냥 어제 잠을 자지 못했어. 상태가 안 좋아요. I'm okay. I just couldn't sleep yesterday, so I don't feel well. In contrast, the adverb 잘 which we have already come across in a phrase, 잘하다, to excel, expresses that someone does something well. 저는 한식을 잘 먹어요. 저는 한식을 잘 먹어요. I eat Korean food well, meaning that someone likes the taste of Korean food. 선미 씨는 피아노를 정말 잘 쳐요. 선미 씨는 피아노를 정말 잘 쳐요. Sunmi plays the piano really well. 한국어를 잘 하시네요. 한국어를 잘 하시네요. You speak Korean so well. 잘 can be used with 못, which means that someone can do an action but doesn't perform it well. 수영을 잘 못해요. 수영을 잘 못해요. I can't swim well. 저는 영어를 아직 잘 못해요. 저는 영어를 아직 잘 못해요. I still can't speak English well. 안나 씨는 그림을 잘 그리지 못해요. 안나 씨는 그림을 잘 그리지 못해요. And I can't draw well. The contrastive connective, 지만, is used to express that the information in the second clause of a sentence is in contrast to the information in the first clause. 지만 is attached to the stem of both adjectives and verbs and can be preceded by the past tense suffix, at, ot, yot, or the future tense suffix, get. 한국어가 어렵지만, 재미있어요. 한국어가 어렵지만 재미있어요. Korean is difficult but interesting. 떡볶이가 매우 맵지만 맛있어요. 떡볶이가 매우 맵지만 맛있어요. 떡볶이 is very spicy but tasty. 어제는 따뜻했지만 오늘은 추워요. 어제는 따뜻했지만 오늘은 추워요. Yesterday was warm, but today is cold. 저는 축구를 잘하지만 동생은 축구를 못해요. 저는 축구를 잘하지만 동생은 축구를 못해요. I'm good at playing football, but my younger brother can't play football. 음식을 많이 먹었지만 아직도 배고파요. 음식을 많이 먹었지만 아직도 배고파요. I ate a lot, but I'm still hungry. 
이번 주에 바쁘겠지만 청소를 할 거예요. 이번 주에 바쁘겠지만 청소를 할 거예요. I'll be busy this week, but I will clean the room. 네, grammatical construction, 을수 있다, is used to mean that something is possible to, that. It expresses a general ability to do something. In contrast, 을수 없다, means that something is not possible to, that. It expresses an inability to do something. A tense marker may precede both 을수 있다 and 을수 없다. You may have noticed that both 을수 없다 and 못지 못하다 are similar when expressing that something cannot be done. Indeed, they are synonyms and can be used interchangeably. However, there is a slight difference. 못지 못하다 focuses more on an individual's inability, while 을수 없다 is used to say that an action is itself not possible. 젓가락을 쓸수 있어요? 젓가락을 쓸수 있어요? Can you use chopsticks? 음식이 너무 짜서 먹을 수 없어요. 음식이 너무 짜서 먹을 수 없어요. The food is too salty, so I can't eat it. 오늘 저녁에 홍대에 같이 놀러 갈까요? How about going to Hyundai to hang out? 미안하지만 오늘 저녁에 약속이 있어서 갈수 없어요. I'm sorry, but I have plans, so I can't go. 저는 알레르기가 있어서 단 음식을 먹을 수 없어요. 저는 알레르기가 있어서 단 음식을 먹을 수 없어요. I have an allergy, so I can't eat sweets. 운전할 수 있어요? Can you drive? 아니요, 할수 없어요. No, I cannot. 영어를 알면 혼자 여행을 갈수 있어요. 영어를 알면 혼자 여행을 갈수 있어요. If you know English, it's possible for you to travel alone. 저는 여권이 없어서 술을 살수 없어요. 저는 여권이 없어서 술을 살수 없어요. I don't have a passport, so it's impossible to buy alcohol. 마리아 씨, 뭘 먹을래요? 글쎄요. 이것은 뭐예요? 김치찌개예요. 맛있어요? 맛있지만 조금 매워요. 저는 매운 음식을 못 먹어요. 삼계탕은 어때요? 삼계탕은 안 매워요. 걱정하지 마세요. 그럼 삼계탕을 먹을래요. 안 매운 떡볶이도 먹고 싶어요? 네, 좋아요. 저기요. 네, 뭐 드릴까요? 삼계탕 2인분하고 떡볶이 하나 주세요. 네. 맛있게 드세요. 네, 감사합니다. 어머, 양이 많네요. 우리 이거 다 먹을 수 있어요? 그럼요. 제가 아주 배고파서 마리아 씨가 못 먹으면 제가 다 먹을 수 있어요. 빵, 빵, bread, 계란, 계란, egg, 우유, 우유, milk, 사과, 사과, apple, 복숭아, 복숭아, peach, 수박, 수박, watermelon, 배추, 배추, Chinese cabbage, 당근, 
당근. Carrot. 양파. 양파. Onion. 오이. 오이. Cucumber. 토마토. 토마토. Tomato. 몸. 몸. Body. Health. 머리. 머리. Hat. 눈. 눈. Eyes. 귀. 귀. Ear. 코. 코. Nose. 입. 입. Mouth. 목. 목. Neck. 팔. 팔. Arm. 손. 손. Hand. 배. 배. Stomach. 등. 등. Spine. Back. 엉덩이. 엉덩이. Buttocks. 다리. 다리. Leg. 발. 발. Foot. 약. 약. Medicine. 진통제. 진통제. Painkiller. 소화제. 소화제. Digestive medicine. 감기에 걸리다. 감기에 걸리다. To get a cold. 열이 나다. 열이 나다. To have a fever. 기침하다. 기침하다. To cough. 소화가 안 되다. 소화가 안 되다. Indigestion. 토하다. 토하다. To vomit. 설사하다. 설사하다. To have diarrhea. 입다. 입다. To put on, to wear clothes. 신다. To put on, to wear shoes. 끼다. 끼다. To put on, to wear earrings. 귀걸이. 귀걸이. Necklace. 목걸이. 목걸이. Ring. 반지. 반지. 쓰다. 쓰다. To put on, to wear. Cap. 모자. 모자. Glasses. 안경. 안경. 마음에 들다. 마음에 들다. To like. 빌리다. 빌리다. To borrow. 돌리다. To return. 이사하다. 이사하다. To move. 설명하다. 설명하다. To explain. 걱정하다. 걱정하다. To worry. 보여주다. 보여주다. To show. 고르다. 고르다. To choose. 어울리다. 어울리다. To match. To suit. 별로이다. 별로이다. Not good. Not well. 처음에. 처음에. At first. To begin with. 잠깐만요. 잠깐만. Just a moment. Less formal. 잠시만요. 잠시만. Just a moment. More formal. 방법. 방법. Way. Means. 봉투. 봉투. Bag. 배. 배. Place. 어서 오세요. 어서 오세요. Welcome. 또 오세요. 또 오세요. Come again. 저는 못 알아들었어요. 저는 못 알아들었어요. I didn't get what you said. 다시 한번 말씀해 주세요. 다시 한번 말씀해 주세요. Please repeat what you said. 좀 크게 말씀해 주세요. 좀 크게 말씀해 주세요. Please say aloud.
the grammatical construction a o yo buda expresses the meaning of try doing something to see what it is like. It is generally used when attempting to do something. In this case, the construction a o yo buda is used in the present tense. 잡채가 맛있어요. 잡채를 먹어 보세요. 잡채가 맛있어요. 잡채를 먹어 보세요. Chapche is tasty. You should try it. 그 코트가 정말 멋지네요. 입어 봐요. 그 코트가 정말 멋지네요. 입어 봐요. This coat is so stylish. You should try it on. 그 신발을 신어 보고 싶어요. 그 신발을 신어 보고 싶어요. I want to try those shoes on. 제주도에 꼭 가보세요. 제주도에 꼭 가보세요. You should certainly try to visit Jeju Island. 우리 같이 숙제를 해볼까요? 우리 같이 숙제를 해볼까요? Shall we try doing homework together? The grammatical construction a o yo poda is also used to describe experience. In this case, past tense is used. 그 음료수를 마셔봤어요? Have you tried that beverage? 네, 마셔봤어요. Yes, I have. 어땠어요? How was it? 별로였어요. It wasn't that good. 어제 친구랑 처음에 등산해봤어요. 어제 친구랑 처음 등산해봤어요. Yesterday, I tried climbing a mountain with my friends for the first time. 이 음악을 들어봤어요. 그런데 마음에 안 들어요. 이 음악을 들어봤어요. 그런데 마음에 안 들어요. I listened to that music, but I don't like it. Note that the verb 보다 is not used with the grammatical construction 아, 어, 요, 보다 when talking about someone's experience. It is used in imperative sentences only and rather in informal style. You can say, 그 영화 나중에 봐봐요. 그 영화 나중에 봐봐요. Watch this film later. But not, 그 영화 봐봤어요. I watched the film. Unlike English and many other European languages, there is a special grammatical construction in Korean for asking a favor or doing something for the benefit of the speaker or of someone else. Sometimes, this construction is translated as place in English, but it's not a completely accurate translation. A o yo is attached to verb stamps according to vowel harmony rules. Compare the following sentences. 약국에서 약을 사세요. 약국에서 약을 사세요. Buy medicine in the pharmacy. 약국에서 약을 사주세요. 약국에서 약을 사주세요. Buy medicine in the pharmacy for me, please. 창문을 여세요. 창문을 여세요. Open the window. 창문을 열어주세요. 창문을 열어주세요. Open the window for me, please. 크게 말해요. 크게 말해요. Say it out aloud. 크게 말해줘요. 크게 말해줘요. Speak up for me. Some more examples with the construction 아, 어, 주다. 무슨 일이에요? 이야기해 줘요. 무슨 일이에요? 이야기해 줘요. What's happened? Tell me. 언니, 돈을 좀 빌려 줄수 있어요? 전 다음 주에 돈을 돌려주겠어요. 언니, 돈을 좀 빌려 줄수 있어요? 전 다음 주에 
돈을 돌려주겠어요. Older sister, can you borrow some money for me? I will return it next week. 이번 주 토요일에 이사하려고 해요. 저를 도와줄 수 있어요? 이번 주 토요일에 이사하려고 해요. 저를 도와줄 수 있어요? I'm going to move this Saturday. Are you able to help me? That is, do you have time and wish to do it? When making a request of non-intimates, of older people or social superiors, the honorific suffix C is used. 머리를 짧게 잘라주세요. 머리를 짧게 잘라주세요. Please, cut my hair short. 잠깐만 기다려주세요. 잠깐만 기다려주세요. Please, wait a minute. 못 알아들었어요. 다시 한번 말씀해 주세요. 못 알아들었어요. 다시 한번 말씀해 주세요. I didn't understand what you said. Please, say it again. 아주머니, 저 예쁜 치마 보여주세요. 아주머니, 저 예쁜 치마 보여주세요. Please, show me that nice skirt over there, madam. 저는 그걸 못해요. 좀 도와주세요. 저는 그걸 못해요. 좀 도와주세요. I can't do it. Please help me. 부모님께서 저에게 선물을 사주셨어요. 부모님께서 저에게 선물을 사주셨어요. My parents bought me a present. 아, 어, 주다 is used with expressions of things. 설명해 주셔서 감사합니다. 설명해 주셔서 감사합니다. Thank you for explaining this. 와주셔서 감사합니다. 와주셔서 감사합니다. Thank you for coming. 몸은 어때요? 이제 괜찮아요. 걱정해 주셔서 감사합니다. The ending to you is generally used when the speaker presumes that the listener knows what is being talked about. It can be translated in English in several ways. When to is pronounced with a rising intonation, it plays a role similar to tag questions in English. 요새 외식을 많이 하지요? You eat out a lot these days, don't you? 네, 많이 해요. Yes, I do. Note that chiyo is not usually used when answering a question that already has it. 젓가락을 쓸수 있지요? You can use chopsticks, can't you? 네, 한국에서 오래 살아서 젓가락을 잘쓸수 있어요. Yes, I have been living for a long time in Korea, so I can use chopsticks well. 그 음식의 요리 방법을 아시지요? You know the recipe of this dish, don't you? 네, 알아요. 걱정하지 마세요. Yes, I do. Don't worry. The ending 지요 is shortened to 조 in colloquial speech. 제니 씨는 학생이 아니죠? 제니 씨는 학생이 아니죠? You're not a student, Jenny, are you? 이 영화가 정말 재미있죠? This film is very interesting, isn't it? 네, 재미있어요. Yes, it is. Tense indicators may precede the ending 지요. 어제 부산을 갔다 왔지요? 어제 부산을 갔다 왔지요? You came from Busan yesterday, didn't you? 약국에 갈 거지요? 진통제를 사주세요. 약국에 갈 거지요? 진통제를 사주세요. You will go to the pharmacy, won't you? Buy painkillers for me, please. When to is pronounced with a falling intonation, 
It can be translated in English as, as you know, of course, etc. 한국은 매운 음식이 많지요. 한국은 매운 음식이 많지요. As you know, there is a lot of spicy food in Korea. 렌즈를 꼈어요? Did you put lenses in? 네, 당연하죠. Yes, of course. 한국의 해산물이 신선하고 맛있죠. 한국의 해산물이 신선하고 맛있죠. As you know, seafood in Korea is fresh and tasty. The ending 시지오 can be used towards social superiors or elders to suggest doing something. It is translated as let us and is a more polite form than the ending 시다 읍시다. That, as we learned, is not polite enough to use while suggesting doing something to social superiors or elders. 사장님, 점심 식사를 하시죠. 사장님, 점심 식사를 하시지요. Boss, let's have lunch. 이번 주말에 등산하시죠. 이번 주말에 등산하시지요. Let's climb a mountain this weekend. 할머니, 피곤하시면 좀 쉬시죠. 할머니, 피곤하시면 좀 쉬시지요. Grandmother, if you are tired, let's rest a little. 어서 오세요. 안녕하세요. 실례지만 빵과 계란이 얼마예요? 가격을 못 찾았어요. 6천 원이에요. 우유 두 병, 빵, 계란 열 개와 라면 세 개가 얼마예요? 만 삼천 원이에요. 네, 여기 있어요. 봉투가 필요하세요? 네, 주세요. 안녕히 가세요. 네, 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. 마리아 씨, 한복을 이미 입어봤죠? 아니요, 근데 입어보고 싶어요. 어디에서 입어볼 수 있어요? 광화문 근처에 그런 데가 많아요. 같이 가볼까요? 네, 같이 가요. 어서 오세요. 안녕하세요. 제일 예쁜 한복을 보여주세요. 여기 있어요. 골라보세요. 와, 이건 진짜 예쁘네요. 그럼 이 한복을 입어보세요. 정말 잘 어울리네요. 저도 마음에 들어요. 이 한복을 빌리면 한 시간에 얼마예요? 3만 원이에요. 대중교통 대중교통 Public transport. 기차. 기차. Train. 지하철. 지하철. Subway. 고속버스. 고속버스. Express bus. 차. 차. Car. 자전거. 자전거. Bicycle. 택시. 택시. Taxi, 배, 배, boat, ship, 타다, 타다, to ride, to take, to get on, 걸리다, 걸리다, to take about time, 얼마나, 얼마나, how, 걷다, 걷다, 걸어가다. 
걸어 가다. 걸어 오다. 걸어 오다. 걸어 다니다. 걸어 다니다. To walk. 갈아타다. 갈아타다. To transfer. 호선. 호선. Line. In subway. 내리다. 내리다. To get off. 길을 건너가다. 길을 건너가다. To cross the street. 길이 막히다. 길이 막히다. The road is blocked. 차가 밀리다. 차가 밀리다. Traffic jam. 출근하다. 출근하다. To go to work. 퇴근하다. 퇴근하다. To leave work. 그럼요. 그럼요. I agree with you. Of course. Obviously. 똑바로. 똑바로. Straight. 다. 다. All. Everything. 미리. 미리. In advance. 곧. 곧. Soon. Shortly. 서류. 서류. Document. 손님을 초대하다. 손님을 초대하다. To invite guests. 씻다. 씻다. To wash. 확인하다. 확인하다. To check. 가르치다. 가르치다. To teach. To tell. 결제하다. 결제하다. To pay. 취직하다. 취직하다. To get a job. To be hired. 환전하다. 환전하다. To change money. 하루. 하루. A day. 이틀. 이틀. Two days. 사흘. 사흘. Three days. 나흘. 나흘. Four days. 다세. 다세. Five days. 여세. 여세. Six days. 이래. 이래. Seven days. 여드레. 여드레. Eight days. 아흐레. 아흐레. Nine days. 열흘. 열흘. Ten days. You can also use Sino Korean numbers after four days. That is, 오일. 오일. 육일. 육일. 칠일. 칠일. Etc. Month can be counted in both Sino Korean and Korean numbers, depending on what unit noun is used. 일개월. 일개월. 한달. 한달. One month. 이개월. 이개월. 두달. 두달. Two months. 삼개월. 삼개월. 세달. 세달. Three months. 사개월. 사개월. 네달. 네달. Four months, etc. The particle 으로 is attached to nouns. 으로 is used with nouns ending in a consonant and 로 is used with nouns ending in a vowel. The particle 으로 has two main meanings. The first is instrumental. In general, the particle marks the instrument by which something is done or made. It is translated in English in different ways, that is, by, with, from, as, using, into, etc. 극장까지 대중교통으로 갑시다. 극장까지 대중교통으로 갑시다. Let's go to the theater by public transport. 김치는 배추로 만들어요. 김치는 
배추로 만들어요. Kimchi is made from Chinese cabbage. Literally, they make kimchi from Chinese cabbage. 한국어로 말하지 못할 거예요. 한국어로 말하지 못할 거예요. I won't be able to speak using Korean. 마이클은 이제 젓가락으로 음식을 잘 먹네요. 마이클은 이제 젓가락으로 음식을 잘 먹네요. Wow, now Michael can eat properly with chopsticks. 저는 학생으로 한국에 왔어요. 저는 학생으로 한국에 왔어요. I came to Korea as a student. 이 은행에서 환전할 수 있어요? Can I exchange money in this bank? 네, 그럼요. Yes, sure. 그럼 달러를 원으로 바꿔 주세요. Then change dollars into one place. Also, the particle 으로 is used to indicate the direction of a movement. In this case, it should be used with verbs of motion, that is, 가다, 오다, and their compound variants, 들어가다, 들어가다, to go inside, to enter, 나가다, 나가다, to go outside, 올라가다, 올라가다, to go up, 내려가다, 내려가다, to go down, etc. You have probably noticed that this construction corresponds to e, kada, oda. The main difference between these two is that e, kada, oda focuses more on a destination, whereas uro, kada, oda points at the direction. Compare. Chibe kayo. Chibe kayo. I am going home. Home is my destination. 집으로 가요. 집으로 가요. I'm going in the direction of home, but home is not necessarily the destination. Some more examples with 으로 가다 오다. 미용실이 어디예요? How can I get to the beauty salon? Literally, where is the beauty salon? 왼쪽으로 음식점까지 가세요. 그리고 음식점 앞에서 길을 건너가세요. Go to the left till you reach a restaurant and then cross the street in front of the restaurant. 실례하지만 병원이 어디예요? Excuse me, how can I get to the hospital? Literally, excuse me, where is the hospital? 똑바로 500m쯤 가세요. Go straight for about 500 meters. 은행이 어디예요? How can I get to the bank? Literally, where is the bank? 4층으로 올라가세요. Go up to the fourth floor. Particles of location 에서 까지 are used to talk about places and are translated as from to until. They are attached to nouns no matter what ending they have. 집에서 학교까지 얼마나 걸려요? How long does it take to go from home to the school? 한 시간쯤 걸려요. It takes about an hour. 부산에서 서울까지 얼마나 걸려요? How long does it take to go from Busan to Seoul? 기차로 4시간쯤 걸려요. It takes about 4 hours by train. 여기에서 강남까지 어떻게 가요? How do I get from here to Gangnam? 지하철 2호선을 타고 가세요. Take the second line of the subway. Particles can also be used separately. 어디에서 오셨어요? Where do you come from? 저는 일본에서 왔어요. I come from Japan. 죄송해요. 길이 막혀서 여기까지 오는 것이 오래 걸렸어요. 죄송해요. 길이 막혀서 
여기까지 오는 것이 오래 걸렸어요. Sorry, the road is blocked, so it took a long time to get here. 친구의 집까지 멀지만 날씨가 좋아서 거기까지 걸어가고 싶어요. 친구의 집까지 멀지만 날씨가 좋아서 거기까지 걸어가고 싶어요. My friend's house is far, but the weather is good today, so I want to walk there. 시간이 없어서 택시를 타야 돼요. 시간이 없어서 택시를 타야 돼요. We don't have time, so we have to take a taxi. 일을 다 오늘까지 해야 해요. 일을 다 오늘까지 해야 해요. I have to finish all the work today. 오래 살고 싶으면 운동해야 해요. 오래 살고 싶으면 운동해야 해요. If you want to live long, you must do sports. 비행기표를 미리 예약해야 돼요. 비행기표를 미리 예약해야 돼요. You must reserve plane tickets in advance. 버스가 곧 도착할 거예요. 빨리 가야 돼요. 버스가 곧 도착할 거예요. 빨리 가야 돼요. The bus will arrive soon. We must hurry. 손님을 초대해서 청소해야 해요. 손님을 초대해서 청소해야 해요. I invited guests, so I need to clean the house. 빠른 기 전에 is attached to a verb stem no matter what ending it has, and it has the meaning before doing. 식사하기 전에 손을 씻으세요. 식사하시기 전에 손을 씻으세요. Wash your hands before having a meal. 고속 버스를 타기 전에 버스표를 사야 돼요. 고속 버스를 타기 전에 버스표를 사야 돼요. You must buy a bus ticket before taking the express bus. 이 약을 식사 전에 드세요. 이 약을 식사 전에 드세요. Take this medicine before the meal. 전 배고파요. 영화관에 가기 전에 밥 먹어요. 전 배고파요. 영화관에 가기 전에 밥 먹어요. I'm hungry. Let's have lunch before going to the cinema. The word 전에 can be used separately and translates as before, previously. 이틀 전에 시험을 봤어요. 이틀 전에 시험을 봤어요. I took the exam two days ago. 저는 두달 전에 한국에 도착했어요. I arrived in Korea two months ago. 여행 전에 서류를 다 확인하세요. 여행 전에 서류를 다 확인하세요. Check all the documents before traveling. 언제 도착했어요? When did you arrive? 한 시간 전에 도착했어요. I arrived an hour ago. Compare with 언제 도착했어요? Where did you come? 오후 한시 전에 도착했어요. I came before 1 p.m. The pattern 은 후에 is attached to the verb stem and means after, later. 은 is attached to a verb stem ending in a consonant, 
N is attached to a verb stem ending in a vowel. 대학교를 졸업한 후에 취직하려고 해요. 대학교를 졸업한 후에 취직하려고 해요. I'm going to get a job after I graduate. 밥을 먹은 후에 바로 운동하지 마요. 밥을 먹은 후에 바로 운동하지 마요. Don't train right after you have a meal. 은 후에 can be replaced by 은 뒤에, which has the same meaning. 퇴근한 뒤에 맥주 한잔 가끔 해요. 퇴근한 뒤에 맥주 한잔 가끔 해요. Sometimes I have a glass of beer when I come home from work. The words 후에 and 뒤에 can also be used as independent words. 출근 언제 할 거예요? When will you go to work? 세 시간 후에 할 거예요. I will go to work in three hours. 5개월 후에 외국에 이사하려고 해요. I'm going to move abroad in five months. 2주일 뒤에 만납시다. 2주일 뒤에 만납시다. Let's meet in two weeks. Bossesa 남산타워까지 어떻게 가요? 지하철을 타고 신당역까지 가세요. 거기에서 4번 버스로 갈아타고 남산 서울타워 정류장에 내리세요. 정류장에서 위로 올라가세요. 5분 후에 남산타워에 도착할 거예요. 여기에서 남산타워까지 얼마나 걸려요? 30분쯤 걸려요. <목소리> 